I just woke up. I'm having my morning coffee. I'm half asleep. <laughs> I don't know why I made this so early for me. <laughs> it's live. 6 p.m. EST is 7 o'clock in the morning for me. I'm not going to yell. Good morning. Good evening if you're in the US. Hi, Louis. Don't mind me while I try and kickstart my brain with some coffee because I literally just woke up, jumped in the shower, and here I am. Oh, maybe this wasn't a very good time to come on. Maybe I shouldn't make it 6 p.m. EST. Maybe it's too early for everybody <laughs> on a Sunday. <laughs> Normally I go on a bit later, but I put my set time as Sunday 6 p.m. EST. Maybe I should make it just 9 o'clock. And do it on the later in the day and I won't get, have to get up so early. <laughs> what are you doing, guys? What's happening? Let's talk about manifesting. Louis, do you have a question? You're the only person here. <laughs> you may as well use me. It's like free coaching. Normally there's like 10 people here by now. Bloody hell. I really shouldn't have logged on this early. And I can't do it later because I have a coaching, coaching client. Any questions, guys? Louis, you must have a question. Do you? Just, it's just you and me. No one else is going to hear anything. Hi. Oh, no, too late. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. I'm just, I'm glad you took a while to come on because I'm so tired and I don't know why I made this EST time so early for me. It's 7 o'clock in the morning my time. Stupid. How are you guys? Where are you coming in from? 12 people. Yay. Sorry, Louis. You're not the only person here now. <laughs> There's only one person here for about five minutes. Hi, guys. What's happening where you are? Have you had a nice Sunday? Have you had a nice weekend? What's been going on? Do you have any questions for me, guys? I'm just going to talk really softly because my brain's still asleep. Hopefully I'll be able to answer some questions, but I'm half asleep. I need to have a second copy for the synapses to kick in. Guys, ask me a question. Anyone got a question? Uh, I was watching a really interesting video this morning from Caleb. So you know how I told you guys Caleb from Pluto's Gate? Pluto's Gate is a really excellent channel to watch. He made a really good point. And he said, you can hold a story about what's happening at the moment. Your manifestation not showing up. And you can hold that story that that means that you've got resistance to it. Okay, so I've got resistant thoughts. That's why it's not showing up. And then you can hold a story that because I've got resistance to it and opposing thoughts, then it won't show up. And he said, why don't you get rid of that story completely and just say, it doesn't matter that I've got opposing thoughts. It doesn't matter that there's resistance. My manifestation is still going to show up. I thought that was a great, great idea. I don't care about the shitty circumstances I'm seeing right now. My manifestation is still going to turn up. I don't care what I'm seeing right now. It's still going to turn up. Just tell yourself that, guys. I'm not seeing any questions. Guys, there's no one posted a question. Of 22 people, no one's had a question? Or, I, or is something going wrong with my chat? All I'm saying is people joining. It must be a question by now, 22 people. This is very strange. I don't know, something's gone wrong. Guys, are you asking questions? There must be a question. Oh, this is something's gone awry. Bloody TikTok, what's happened? All I can see is who's joined, Alana's joined. I can see 22 people and I can't see a fucking question. Oh, that's incredibly annoying. Hang on, let me just see. Is this question thing not... No questions yet. That's really weird. Oh, can you see this? Yes, Alana, I can see it. Hooray! Oh, I just said no questions. The fuck? <laughs> Guys, Alana, I can see you saying, can you see this? So it worked. Guys, 28 people, someone must have a question. I can't talk this early in the morning just off the top of my head. Someone asked me something. <laughs> I 
I can see people joining. I can see Alana's question, but that's it. So guys, do you have any manifestation questions? Any questions about negative voices, getting rid of them? Hello from the mushroom farm. Oh, you actually have a mushroom farm? Or are you just using mushroom compost? <laughs> really are. I never use mushroom compost. When I got really into gardening, I had all kinds of compost. And I saw the mushroom one, but it was more expensive. And I remember I'm such a tight ass, I didn't buy it. But I had a massive veggie garden in my backyard. That's how I met my SP, because he pulled it out. And when I moved in, I put it back in because um, he was the gardener across the road. But I never used mushroom compost. Is it good? Is it good for the veggies? Because my veggie garden was amazing until all the caterpillars came and ate every single courgette. I had like a hundred of them that were gone in a night. Little bastards. Guys, someone must have a question. Will it work if you are sad or have neg negative emotions about a situation but are using affirmations? That's an excellent question, darling. Oh, very high nitrogen. Ah, oh, okay, I should have used it. Might have kept the caterpillars away. All right, Alana, darling. This is what I was just talking about before. Caleb at Pluto's Gate had a video about just because I'm sad or just because I have a resistance or just because I get upset or just because things aren't things seem impossible, it doesn't mean I'm not going to get my manifestation. You have to tell yourself that. Just because it seems impossible, just because I can't see it yet, just because I'm sad, just because I'm feeling a bit negative, doesn't mean I'm not going to get my manifestation. Tell you that, tell yourself that, darling. I think that's a really good, good point he made. So you can feel sad or feel negative about it, but you've got to jump back on the horse as quickly as you can. Oh, I feel sad, darling. The other night I had a big cry after one of my lives. I don't even know why. And I just lay in bed and had a cry. Let it out, guys. Everyone telling you not to let out your emotions and to try and be happy all the time, it's ridiculous and it'll make you sick. You can feel sad. You can look at your 3D, darling, and feel sad. But you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. While you're trying to get your specific person to conform, while you're trying to get that house, while you're trying, you don't know what's going on. So trust in the unseen. That's what Neville calls it. The unseen. You can't see it yet, darling. But try if you can. When you feel sad, let it all out. When you're feeling negative, let it all out. Then jump back in here, in here. Nope, nope, just because I'm feeling sad doesn't mean I'm not going to get my manifestation. Oh, we're happily married. I love him so much. He loves me so much. Okay? Um, Loz, I'm fucking shaking. Four days after our one-to-one, -one, my SP reached out telling me exactly what I had in my self-concept. <gasps> Who is this? JD, who is it? Give me your name. Who is this? Four days after my one-to-one, -one, my SP reached out telling me exactly what I had in my self-concept affirmations. Telling who is it talking to me? I can't see your name. You're joking. Who is it? Who is it? Christina! You're joking. What did he say? You have to tell me. <laughs> tell me in the chat later. Tell me, um, send me a DM, darling. <gasps> see? It's working. Guys, they, if you're working on self concept okay because Christina and I had a call about her specific person I'm not going to go into details about her private things but I told her to work on self-concept and what this is is literally putting yourself on the pedestal because most of us when we're after a specific person when we've broken up with our ex we put them all the way up here and we're looking up at them and they're looking way down at us we've done stupid things like over text them we've got blocked we've been ghosted we've let all our insecurities out and they're looking down on us guys no more. The way you fix that is you build yourself up. You don't forget about them. You're still going to think about them, but you build yourself up, guys. You start telling yourself the affirmations that I am perfect just the way I am. Everyone loves me just the way I am. I'm perfection. I am loved. I am wanted. I am the queen and I'm treated like a queen. And you start saying this shit and I don't care if you're a guy or a girl. I'm a king and I'm treated like a king. Everyone respects me. When I walk in a room, everyone takes notice. I'm the most lovable guy in the world. I'm the most lovable girl in the world. I am wanted. I am known. I am desired. I am adored. You start saying that shit over and over and over and over and over and over. And I tell you, at first, it feels like a load of bullshit. You think, your subconscious goes, uh, you're not adored. Remember your specific person? He's fucking ghosted you. Remember that? No one loves you. Remember you got dumped by this guy and this guy and this guy. And you say, shut up. You keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and then shit like that happens. The SP you haven't heard from for ages contacts you. Because you weren't doing anything to push the 3D. You were just building yourself up, guys. Neville says, no one to change but self. If you change yourself, they change. Because they can feel your new thoughts. 
being sent out. They're like, oh, I might, I might text Christina. That's how this shit works, guys. I'm telling you right now. If you're having trouble with your specific person, you've got to work on your self-concept. You've got to build yourself up because it was your shitty self-concept, your insecurities that pushed them away in the first place. You've got to build yourself up to get them back. But you're just doing it for yourself anyway, for life, for your career, to get a better relationship with your friends and family. You do it for everything. And I'm telling you, everything changes. Amazing, Christina. I'm so thrilled for you. Thrilled. Darling, it's progress. Don't stop. Just keep building yourself up. Tick. SP. Tick. Okay. Next. Build yourself up, darling. Don't stop. Keep doing those self-concept affirmations. In fact, go harder. Go fucking harder on them, darling. Sometimes people, a person texts them or whatever and they think, okay, I'm done. No, because all that shit's still in there. All that old shit. Got to keep affirming. Got to keep looking at yourself in the mirror and telling yourself you're the queen. Got to keep doing it, guys, okay? Don't stop, my darling. That is brilliant news. Do you burn sage? No, I don't, I don't even own any. Visualization aren't necessary if it's hard for you to do, question mark. Can you just say your intentions? Yes, darling, your intentions, your affirmations, whatever you want to call them, just say those. Lots of people can't visualize. Lots of people find it very, very difficult. I find it easy because I'm an actor and I had to do it for my job. I had to pretend there were cherry trees or pretend someone was dead when they were alive. Okay? <laughs> it just was my job. Okay? So I can do it very easily. Most people find it very difficult. Because their imagination has been shut off since they were a kid because they went to school and it just got squashed. You could do it when you're a child very quickly. Pretend you're in a castle when you're in a tree. Pretend you were Superman. You could see your suit. You looked in the mirror, you saw the suit. You didn't question it. But as you get older, you start to question. So if you find visualising using your imagination hard, just affirm, guys. Do you know how to say the word in Arabic? What? Um, manifestation? I don't, darling. Sorry. I, all I know is Salam Malikum. That's all I know. <laughs> don't know any Arabic. Darling, just put it in Google Translate. Um, any more questions, guys? I can't see any more questions. There's 53 people and not someone's. no one's got a question? Um, guys, maybe this chat's work moving very, very quick, very, very slow. This is unusually slow for this chat. Normally, I can't even keep up with the chat for this many people. That's odd. Something's wrong. Guys, please write some questions and let me see if there's questions. I can't see a single question. Not a question. What the fuck's going on? Oh, guys, this is really annoying. How come some people could send me questions, other people couldn't? Ah. <sighs> Last night, when I was doing the live, it seemed like delayed. When I was talking, I could see myself delayed. Yes, I can see that, Stephanie. That's weird. Yes. Take this as a compliment. People may have been learning because you teach so good. Ah, oh, <laughs> darling, thank you. Maybe they don't have any questions anymore. That can't be right. I still have questions. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, guys, what question are we asking? Oh, oh, look, a lot of people probably came in. Don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing here. <laughs> so, let me explain, guys. I really fucked up my life and learned how to fix it with manifestation, with changing your negative thinking. All manifesting is, if you've just joined the chat and you don't follow me, manifesting isn't candles, it isn't sage, it isn't crystals, it isn't the universe, it isn't talking to water. It's none of that complete bullshit that you're being told on manifestation talk. That is crap. The secret was very flawed. The secret and the law of attraction tells you that the universe, something outside of you, is doing something for you. No, guys. Your mind creates your reality. Your dominant, habitual thoughts out picture in your world and everyone reflects your thinking, your dominant thinking. That's all manifestation is. To manifest means to make manifest, to see it with your eyes. What you need to do is do it in your mind first and then you see it with your eyes. The problem is most people don't know that they're doing things in their mind all day long and they're seeing it. They're manifesting shit all day long that they don't want. And they think the manifestation is something completely different. Some magical thing that the universe does. No, no, no. You are manifesting everything in your life right now all the time. Look at your life. Look at things you might not want in your life and realize you did that with your thoughts. That's all manifesting is, guys. And all we're trying to do is consciously manifest something new. New thoughts to create a new reality. That's all manifesting is, guys. So if anyone is on here telling you the universe is going to do something for you, or if it will be, will be, oh, you can't manifest your specific person back, can't manifest your ex back because it wasn't meant to be, the universe will send you someone better. Press 
the screen really hard and press not interested, not interested, because they're telling you the wrong thing. The person left you based on your thoughts. Now you can change your thoughts, I'll come back. Ta-da, you're a genius. You have pretty eyes. Oh, thank you, darling. I broke my girlfriend's bed and I feel guilty, but she said it's worth it. Oh, I've broken a bed before. It's great when you break a bed. What questions are we asking? Okay, so you can ask me anything about manifestation, negative thinking, changing your negative thinking, depression, anxiety, anything, darling, to do with changing your life. Um, I manifest I'm going to be a billionaire. You do that, Mickley White. Honestly, just tell yourself you are. Do you do it step by step like first he will text me instead of jumping into we're already together? Yes, darling, if you want to do that, if it seems easier to your mind. If you've got a resistant thought to we are happily married and that seems ridiculous to you. So I'm just going to clean my glasses. If that seems ridiculous, then say. You can start really small, really small step. He's starting to think about me now. Say you've been in no contact for like a year. You can say, he's starting to think about me. He's thinking about me more and more. And a couple of days later, after you've affirmed that for a while, you can say, he wants to text me. I know he wants to text me. He's dying to hear my voice. Then a couple of days later, you can say, he's constantly calling and texting me. He's blowing up my phone. Then he can do, he's obsessed with me now. He can't stop fucking thinking about me. I'm on his mind 24-7. He's distracted at work. He can't stop thinking about me. Then you can do, we are in a beautiful, happy relationship. He loves being my boyfriend. Then you can do, we are happily married. Go in steps, darling, because then you'll have less resistance if you feel it. Otherwise, just go, we're happily married. Go right to the end. Or you can go in steps, darling. Oh, great. I've got some questions. Hooray. I manifest that I love you. Oh, thank you. Sabre Khaled one. Thank you so much. What are some things to make your manifestations come easier, stronger, faster? Okay. So, guys, or timelines. Can you set a timeline? No, darling. Everyone asks me this about setting timelines. If you've become some kind of Zen master in manifesting, yeah, sure. Set the timeline. But until such time as you have no resistant thought, no opposing thoughts to this shit, no negative thoughts jump in and think, where is it? Then setting a timeline, I don't know how you're going to do it. You can try, guys. But if you're just getting into conscious manifesting now and you're expecting you're going to be able to get it to turn up tomorrow, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but it probably won't happen. You've really got to saturate your mind, guys, that you're living in the end, and then it will happen. So no, timelines is difficult. Because what will happen is you'll set a timeline, guys. Then it will, won't come on the timeline. Then you'll kick yourself. You'll think this manifestation shit doesn't work. You'll get worried and worried and worried and worried as it comes toward the timeline. Oh, it's not here yet. It's not here yet. Setting timelines, I would not recommend when you're just really getting into this. Because it'll throw you when it doesn't come on the day. It'll throw you as you're leading up to the date. Does that make sense? I wouldn't recommend it. But darling, if you feel you can do it, you can. Go ahead. But... Sometimes it doesn't help. Getting back to the other question. What are some things to make your manifestations come easier, stronger, faster? You, darling. You're the operant power. Only you, it can operate itself. You have this power in you to manifest everything with your reality, with your mind. You're the only person who can do it. So you have to start thinking, I'm fucking powerful. Look at your life. Look at all the shit you created. Realize you did that. Ta-da! You're a genius. First thing, you really have to step into your power, guys. 61 of you, 63 of you. I am powerful. I am the god of my reality. What I say goes. I run this shit. You have no free will, motherfucker. That's what you have to start thinking, guys. When you start feeling like that, everything in your life conforms. You start realizing the person at the petrol station filling up your gas conforms. The person giving you your lunch conforms. And then you'll go, oh... Fuck, I'm doing this all day. You didn't even realize it. The hell. Then, faster and easier, tell yourself it's fast and easy. I manifest everything fast and easy. I'm a genius at this. I'm a master manifester. Tell yourself that every day, guys, when you wake up. I run this shit. I manifest quickly and easily. Everything I do that I want comes to me quickly and easily. Only my positive thoughts manifest. I'm a master manifester. Start saying that, darling. But also look for evidence in your 3D of what you already created. And if you want to test yourself and see, test yourself with getting someone to say something like howdy or something weird. Wear a shirt they don't normally wear. Someone said the other day they got their daughter to wear jeans in my Facebook group. So guys, join my Facebook group, Manifest Live with Loz. Manifest Space, Live Space, with Space, Loz, Space. 
You've got to put the spaces in between to find it. It's a private group and all these lives are saved. There's probably about 15 in there now. I think I've got 12 in there already and they're hours and hours long. Um, but she got her daughter to wear jeans. Her daughter never wears jeans. And she said, my daughter's going to wear jeans. My daughter's going to wear jeans or whatever she affirmed. The next day, daughter came out in jeans. She said, why did you put those on? She goes, I don't know. I just felt like it. She didn't have a clue why she did it. The mum knew why. She made her. They have no free will, guys. Start doing shit like that, you'll realise how fucking powerful you are and then everything will come quicker. Um, I think about ideas and got the equipment, but it's not happening. What do you mean, darling? Does that mean other people can push us away with their negative thoughts? No, darling, because you're not in their reality, you're in yours. Only what you do with your thoughts creates your reality. They're in theirs. I know it's really hard to get your head around, but everyone's in their own parallel reality to you. It's like saying, can someone manifest someone else? at the same time as me. No, they can't. They can in their reality, but not in yours. It's really hard to get your head around, guys, but it's simply quantum physics, meaning parallel quantum lots of realities. And people can jump between them. I can't fucking do it. I've never tried. But in one reality, you're over here happily married with your SP, and the other one, they're with someone else. It's, it's a freaky thing to get your head around, but just try and convince yourself that no one can manifest for you and no one can... Uh, push you away with their negative thoughts, okay? Just to forget that idea, darling. You're just doing it yourself, doing everything to everyone in your reality, okay? Um, have you tried DMT? Recently had the experience and really had completely changed for the better. What is DMT, darling? I have no idea what that is. Hi from Kuwait City. Oh, my God. What is DMT, darling? I have no idea what that is. Can I donate money? Well, darling, if, just give me a present. A 10 cent present if you want <laughs> through TikTok. I want to start a business but feel it's not happening. I've got everything to start. Well, Danielle Sadler 0310, start telling yourself your business is booming. My business is booming. I've got the best mm, business in. Mm. Where do you live? What do you do? I've got the best florist. I'm the best florist in Newtown. I'm the best, okay? Then start saying, I'm overrun with clients. My business is booming so much I can't keep up with the demand. My business is booming. I am thriving. My business is so successful. Start saying that, darling. Start seeing people buying your products, ordering your services, whatever it is. Start doing visualizations about that. Can you manifest in other languages too? I'm just curious. Darling, whatever language you're, you speak, you should be affirming in. If you speak Spanish, you should not be affirming in English. Your subconscious will be fucking confused. Guys, whatever is your native language. If you're Iranian, if you're Portuguese, you do it in Portuguese. Portu if you're from Portugal or Brazil, you do it in Portuguese. You don't start doing it in English. No, 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 no. Your brain runs on whatever language you learned as a child, whatever you absorbed as a child. Think about what is your subconscious thinking. If it thinks in Spanish, affirm in Spanish. All right, guys? DMT is a psychoactive drug. Oh, lots of people ask me about psychedelics. I didn't even know what that was. Hey, look, if it helps you, if going and doing ayahuasca or um, taking some shrooms helps you guys, go ahead. If it helps you feel like you get into the state akin to sleep and you can and like the drowsy state where you can visualize better, go ahead. I'm an undergraduate. What should I study? Can you give me advice? Darling, I can't tell you what to study, but all I can tell you is this. Whatever you study, you can change it later. You can just go and choose something at uni now, at college now, and it honestly doesn't matter. The amount of people I know that went to college, chose something that their parents told them to do, by the way, lots of people, and they're not doing that anymore. Other people did what their parents told them to do, or what they thought they should do based on their grades, and they're fucking miserable. So darling, just know that whatever you choose, it's not forever. You can change it if you want, so you don't have to make some kind of concrete, lifelong decision that's going to like kill your life if you've made the wrong choice. Secondly, just decide, I love my career. I have the most wonderful career. You don't even know what it is. One of Neville Goddard's blanket affirmations, he used to tell people, that's who I learned all my manifestation from, how to manifest from, he used to say, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? He didn't he just say that and you don't even know what it, what's wonderful. Isn't it wonderful that my career is so amazing? Isn't it wonderful I love what I'm doing at college? Isn't it wonderful? You can say, isn't it rad? Isn't it amazing? Isn't it awesome? Isn't it fucking amazing? Say that and then you don't even know what is going to come about and a bridge of incidents will start happening in your 3D to give you ideas of what to do. 
Isn't it wonderful I love being at college? Isn't it wonderful I love what I study? Isn't it wonderful I have a wonderful career? And no, you won't know what it is, but people will start giving you ideas, suggest things to you, stuff will happen. If you live in the end of your mind that you're already successful at your career, stuff will start to happen. It will tell you what to do. Okay, darling? I'm fluent in English too. I just want to see if I can use multiple languages. Yes, darling, do whatever you want. Wow, that was creepy. You said if you're Iranian, how'd you know? Oh, you are Iranian. Well, there you go. How long do I visualize for? Am I supposed to feel something while visualizing? No, darling, don't you feel anything? And visualizing, don't do it for too long because you're trying to suppress, suppress, impress your subconscious mind with new information. If you make the scene half an hour long, it's not going to remember all of that, is it? If you make it 30 seconds and then repeat it, 30, do the visualization. Here I am in bed with my lover on our honeymoon. He's got his arms around me. He kisses me. I love you, baby. The end. Do it again. Here I am in bed with my lover on our honeymoon. My beautiful husband. He says, I love you, baby. He kisses me. The end. Okay, that's kind of, don't make them too long. Because you're trying to impress it like affirmations. Affirmations aren't long. They're meant to be just one small sentence, short sentence. Any more questions, guys? Oh, I'm missing questions. Any more questions? What did I miss? Tanya, what do you mean I've got the ideas and the equipment but it's not happening? Do you mean your business? Did I answer your question? I think about ideas and got the equipment but it's just not happening. Well, stop telling yourself it's not happening for a start. This business is never going to happen. It's not happening. Why isn't it happening? You're telling your subconscious it's never going to happen. It isn't happening and it won't happen. But is, did that answer your question when I said think about what you already have? Um, any more questions? Does the visualization have to be new scenarios or can I visualize something that's already happened? Yes, darling, if you want to go back to a beautiful memory of you and your specific person together, do that. But what I want you to do with visualizing, guys, is live in the end as if it's already happened. You're already married. You already have the wonderful career. You're already a billionaire. Not imagining, you know, a lovely scene with your SP. That's, that'll make you feel longing. Oh, remember that time we did that? Use that, but put it in your visualization later. Like use the feeling or the, the thing that happened. Put it in like the future. That's what Neville calls living in the end, as if it's already happened. You already are the man or woman you want to be. The wish has already been fulfilled. If you use a scene from before, you're kind of daydreaming. Does that make sense? Should you just stick with one scene on repeat when you visualize or casually visualize them with you? You can do either, darling. If it helps you to casually visualize them with you, go ahead. But what I keep saying to you guys is, and you really need to get this, you need to impress your subconscious mind with new thoughts. If doing 10,000 different scenes, short scenes, makes you feel like, feel like you're married with that person and it's impressing your subconscious, do a million different ones. But you've got to impress it to convince it that you're married and it will start to outpicture you being married. It'll start going, oh, we're married now, are we, to, to John? Oh, great. And then shit will start to happen to make you be married to John. That's how it works. So you visualize it, then set goals to get there. No, no goals, darling. No goals. Don't worry about the goals. Fuck the goals. You don't have to worry about how it's going to come about, my darling. You don't have to worry about the how. It's all manifesting is. Did you know how you were going to fuck up something in your life? You just had a thought, oh, God, I hope this doesn't happen. And then it happened. You didn't worry about how it was going to happen. You just had a thought. The shit happened. And you thought, oh, fuck, wish I hadn't thought that. That's how manifesting works, guys. You don't know how it's going to come about. You could think... God, I hope I don't crash my lovely new car and the next minute you have a car accident. God, I'm not going to say that. I had a big new car. I'm never going to crash my car. My car is uncrashable. I have an uncrashable car. <laughs> Just affirming that. Um, so, darling, don't worry about the how, okay? Don't worry about the how. Your setting goals is worry about the how. I'm going to do this, then this, then this. I'm going to do things in the 3D reality to make it happen. No, you can but while you're doing the goal setting, while you're doing the things to get you there, you've got to think, I'm already there. Does that make sense? If you're trying to become a famous actor, you don't not go to auditions. If you're trying to be a famous musician, you don't not create music. You don't just sit in your room and go, I'm a famous musician, I'm famous. Nothing's going to happen. You have to do the things, but you don't force it. Does that make sense? I'm glad I didn't miss this. Oh, thanks, Melissa. Any more questions, guys? It's like no questions. Normally this is running so fast, I talk like a crazy person because I'm trying to keep up. Is this a really slow chat today or is everyone just asleep like me? 
I'm literally half asleep. Any more questions, guys? I can't. I literally can't see any questions popping up. I think there's something wrong with this TikTok because normally there's way more questions than this with 44 people. This is crazy. Any more questions? I'm just going to scroll up see if I missed any. Can you manifest bipolar away? Yes, darling. Stop telling yourself you fucking got it for a start. So some doctor gave you that diagnosis and then for the rest of the time you've thought, oh, God, I've got bipolar. And then you've thought of all the things that bipolar showed you, like all the evidence. Oh, yeah, I do this. And I have these intrusive thoughts. And da, 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 all the shit they told you. This is what the symptoms of bipolar are. You'll start realising you have them. They'll manifest even more in your reality because you keep fucking thinking about them. Darling, write down who you used to be, who you are right now. All the shit you don't like. Screw it up. Throw it in the air. Burn it, the fucker. Start writing the new story of you, Amelia, honestly. Who are you without bipolar? And start seeing yourself differently, darling. When you look in the mirror, see yourself as that girl. Start affirming, I am mentally thriving. Nothing bothers me. I've never been this healthy in my whole life. I can cope with life easily. I know what I'm doing with myself at all times. Okay? Start affirming you are this new person. and It'll start fucking going away. Trust me. Stop saying it, darling. And stop telling other people you've got it. Don't even discuss it. I never want you to mention it ever again. Do you mean take action on everything we affirm or only certain things? TikTok lagged. Yes, it is lagging, isn't it? Do you mean take action on everything we affirm? No, darling, you don't have to take action on anything you affirm. Unless it's something like you physically have to get in a car to go to a car yard to look for a new car. Unless you're imagining a new car is going to appear outside your house. If you're looking for a guy, you might have to go on a date or go on Tinder or whatever. Or you could just sit like I did in your house and he turns up the next week outside your house. But what I'm saying is, it's up to you. But what I'm saying is don't force it to be like the how. I'm going to do this. That's how it's going to turn up. You don't know how. You're just going to go through the motions of applying for the jobs. You're going to go through the motions of looking for a car. You're going to go through the motions of creating the music for your music career. But while you're doing it, you're not saying, where is it? Why is no one commenting on my socials about how great my music is? Ah! You don't get frustrated and, and shit. Does that make sense? Catch me, please, guys. I want to do the live with you. What do you mean, darling? What do you mean, catch you? I don't, I don't understand. I find it hard to live in the end regarding the SP because we never dated and we were talking for seven months. You weren't talking or you were talking. So, darling, if you find it hard to live in the end... Just forget that you never dated. It doesn't matter that you never dated. I didn't date my SP before I met him. We met. We ended up dating. The end. Everyone who meets someone hasn't met them before and hasn't dated them before once they've met them. So don't worry about that, darling. Just live in the end in your mind. If you know who the person is, you're already together. The end. It doesn't matter that you never dated. I'm talking a lot about people who are trying to get their exes back only because that's the situation of a lot of people who join this chat. But, darling, it doesn't matter. And darling, you can miss him if you like, but get that feeling out and get back on the horse. We are happily married or John loves being my boyfriend. And imagine scenarios where you are together, darling, and affirm that you are. So manifesting an ex back, you keep reaching out. Fuck no, Melissa. Absolutely not. Don't you dare do that. And I really fucking mean this. If you're a girl and you keep, keep reaching out, shit no. Especially because that means you're chasing them and they will run. Whatever you do, guys, if you're trying to get an ex back, especially if you're a girl, whatever the fuck you do, don't reach out. I'm telling you right now, it reeks of the neediest, most desperate energy that you can possibly have. Unless, and the only time you should reach out is if you can do it from a complete place of knowing you're already together in your mind, you're not desperate, you're not needy, and you know what they're going to do when you text them. They're going to be thrilled to hear from you. If you don't know that, don't do it. And I mean this because that's what forcing the 3D is. I don't trust that he's going to reach out to me. I better text him. That's coming from, you've rejected me, so I need to fix this. No, darling, absolutely not. Yes, make them miss you. He's constantly thinking about me. He, I'm always on his mind. He's dying to text me. He's dying to hear my voice. He's constantly calling and texting me. He wants me and only me. He cannot stop thinking about me. He's obsessed with me now. Say that, darling. You don't have to reach out. Especially if you're a girl, guys. Don't you get this? 
If you reach out to guys all the time, that's how so many people come on here and they say, I got ghosted, I got blocked. Yes, I know why, because you were fucking, fucking suffocating the dude with all your texts. And eventually he was just like, isn't this girl got a life? What the fuck? Guys, that's the energy you send out when you have thoughts of, I better text them. And I don't mean to like tell anybody off, but you need to understand what your energy is, what your thoughts are when you're texting. If they're not, he loves me and only me, he wants me, I know he's going to text back lovingly. If you don't have that thought that the outcome is going to be good, don't do it. Because it doesn't matter what you do in the 3D. It matters what you're doing up here. You could text them a million times thinking they're going to text you back, it'll be fine. You can text them once thinking, oh, they're probably going to leave me on red. And they will. Because it's what you're thinking, guys, not what you're doing that matters. Does that make sense? You get it? Good. Okay. Good. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> I wasn't telling you off. Glad I caught this live. This helps so much. No worries, Kathleen77. You born the same year as me or you just like 77? So for a surgery scar, I would affirm I don't have the scar, but still use oils and creams to fade it. That's a great idea. I have lots of surgery scars. I never thought about doing that, actually. Why don't I revise my fucking surgery scars? Great idea. Great idea. You could even revise you never even had the damn surgery. Just imagine the doctor said, oh, you don't need it, or whatever. Or if it's a C-section, you had a natural birth. Okay? But yes, as you're rubbing the cream on, like it's rubbing retinol on your face at night and telling yourself, I have glowing, dewy skin. The amount of people who've come on here and said, I have glowing skin. You know why? It's because I've been affirming I have glowy skin. I'm like making them say it. <laughs> Even though it's a lovely compliment people say to me, but they're saying it on the chat. Because I say that in my head when I put my... This is making my skin glow. When I put my vitamin C on in the morning, I love how my skin glows when I do this. It's making my skin glow. Okay, so darling, yes, do that. While you're doing the oils. Oh my God, yes, I didn't have a surgery, duh. Well, I didn't think of that either, darling. You know how many I've had? Didn't even dawn on me to do that. Go back and not have the surgery. Hooray! <laughs> not really. No, it really helped. I've been watching your lives for ages and I thought thought tacking action helped. No, darling. No! Because you've got these fucking idiots telling you on these stupid fucking videos. If you would like a guy to text you, first thing to do with Law of Attraction is take action. Inspired action. If you feel inspired to take them, text them. Please stop listening to these stupid bitches telling you this shit because they're making you think you can't do it with your mind. Guys, manifesting is with your mind. If they're telling you to take action, they're action teachers, not manifestation teachers. They should change their bio. I'm telling you how to do shit. Yes, great. I do that all day long. What the fuck are you teaching me? Nothing, dude. Guys, please stop doing things to make shit happen. Watch my video on should I text my ex. There's two of them. Should I text my ex? It's got a little white heading and it says taking action while manifesting. There's two of them. And what I say to you is this. Your subconscious kicks in every time you don't take action and it thinks, it panics because habit kicks in. But don't we have to do shit? We always did shit to make, we always took action. I can't believe that anything could happen without me taking action. This can't be right. Do something. That's what it's doing. And that's why one day you'll just pick up the phone and do something stupid. Don't hate me, lol, Loz, but I reached out to him the other week. Can I start over again? Yes, darling. Just pretend you never fucking did it. Because what happened? Tell me, did it work out? What was the response? I'll tell you what the response was. If you were thinking, I need to do this, he's not going to reach out to me. If you thought he might leave me on red. If you thought, I don't think he's... I think he... I'm trying to convince myself that he loves me, but I'm not sure. The, uh, the response would have been dry, would have been not very loving, would have been formal. Or he left you on red. What happened? Tell me. I'm interested. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't. Yes, darling, just pretend you didn't. Go back, revise it. Re do this. Have a little scene in your head where you picked up your phone to do it, and then you thought, no, nope, I don't need to. He can text me. Just imagine you did that, darling. It what? It just wasn't the same, yeah. Because when you do that, darling, and you're coming from a place of rejection, they'll be cold to you on the phone. And it's really hard. And then you go, oh, is that all I get? Oh, fuck. And then you'll feel worse. That's why I'm saying don't reach out, guys. You've got to trust, guys, that you can do this with your mind. You've got to trust yourself. It's really hard, I know. Look, 
when you habitually used to text them, whatever, even my SP, when we broke up, like, I never texted him. I mean, I think I texted him in the whole nine months we were together twice. And I think they were about emergencies. I need your help, baby, with this thing. Can you help me? I was texting him back and rang him back, but I never initiated. As soon as we broke up, I felt the need to initiate, and I fucked things up during that time until we got back together because I felt panic that I needed to do something. I didn't trust myself. So what do I do now to come back from it? Darling, revise it. Pretend it didn't happen. Go back in your mind to the moment where you were going to do it. Pretend, change the scene. You put down the phone. You thought, no, I can do this. And play that scene over and over and over in your head like a little loop. No, I put the phone down. I didn't do it. Or you can imagine that they sent you the text back that you wanted to hear and you received it. You can even change your number to their number. Change that name to your their name. Write the text you wanted to hear and then send it to yourself. And then receive it and look at it. Oh, John sent me the most lovely text back. Isn't he beautiful? He loves me so much. You can do that, darling. Okay, but now just jump back on the horse. Know that happened. Don't worry. Can't live in the past. Can't change it. You did what you did. Move on. Doesn't matter. Jump back in the horse. You are together. Doesn't matter what you did. Revise. Start again. Guys, it doesn't matter if you fuck up. It doesn't matter. Oh, hi, Millie. It doesn't matter if, if you did something stupid. Just say it to yourself... I can't mess this up. It doesn't matter what I do, I can't mess this up. Because if you live in the hand in, end in your mind, darling, you're already together, you can't mess this up. Tell yourself that. Don't beat yourself up, darling. Thanks. I made a shift in my mindset listening to you yesterday. Powerful. Oh, great, Milos actor. Are you called Milos? Are you in Milos? I've been to the island of Milos. Beautiful. How can I speed up the movement with my SP and give you, and can you give me an example of how to live in the end? All right, Blondie. Darling, imagine a scene where you're already together. It's either boyfriend, girlfriend, it's either married, whatever. What is the scene? Are you sitting watching Netflix, eating popcorn together and laughing at your favourite show? And they're telling you, I love you, baby. I love sitting here with you and just doing nothing. Could be that. Could be something small like that little scene. Okay? Or it could be your wedding day. But I'd go past that. Okay? Like you've already been married. Okay? Because living in the end is more the distant future. Oh, thanks, Boss BH. So, guys, if you want to, say, be a famous actor, you don't imagine applying for the auditions, going to auditions. You imagine getting the Oscar, you know? You go to the end. Oh, thank you, darling. So, you understand that's the end. And that's how it will speed up the movement. And then don't look for movement in the 3D. Go and watch my video about no movement. There's no movement. Oh, Boss BH, you're getting all these gifts. Thank you so much. How long does manifestation take? JK's bitch, let me tell you. As long as it takes you to convince yourself that it's already done. It's already done, guys. That's what amen means in the Bible. God, send me blah de blah de blah de blah Amen. It means it's done. You believe that God is going to send it to you the end. Oh, thanks, Melissa Hobbs. Oh, guys, all the gifts. So, guys, honestly, you've got to believe it's done already. That's how you make it come quicker. So I don't know how long it's going to take. I'll give you a quote from Neville. The vision has its own appointed hour. People start calling it divine timing, but I believe you're divine, so you give it the timing. The vision, the thing in your mind that you live in the end, has its own appointed hour. It will ripen, it will flower. If it be long, if it taking, it's taking long, wait, for it is sure, it is certain, and it will not be late. It will turn up. You've got to live up here in, your, in the end in your mind. The longer you take to convince yourself that it's true, the longer it will take. Hi, hi, you're in England. You're in Liverpool. Oh, I never got to Liverpool when I lived in the UK. What a shame. Restart your live. I don't think you see us. Yes, I can, darling. I can see you now. It's moving quicker now. It just was moving really slow. It's after 11 p.m. in the UK, lol. Oh, Adelness, what are you doing up? <laughs> You're a night owl like I used to be. Now I get up at quarter to bloody five in the fucking morning. Can't help myself. Oh, thank you, Mick and Nalina. I can never see your name properly. Mick and Nelia. God, I get people's names. I find them so hard to... Is this working? What do you mean, darling? You mean your manifestation or you mean my life? What if they call you but talk about how they have moved on? Do I change so he wants me? Yes, darling. You have to change your thoughts that he wants you. You have to change your thoughts that you are wanted. The only reason he's saying that he's moved on is because you were thinking he might move on. You were worrying about a third party. You're worrying about he doesn't love you and therefore he said it. When they say shit to you guys, it's literally them reflecting your fears your thoughts you already had. So don't, just ignore what they say. 
my SP said a whole lot of shit to me when we broke up that I was like, oh, that was so hurtful. And then I realised, I fucking thought that first. I thought all these things. You've got to realise you thought it first, darling. So ignore it. Work on you. Build yourself up. You'll come back. And imagine that he already loves you. You're already together. Trying to teach my kids about manifestation. Oh, fantastic, Divine Diana. But guess what? They already know. <laughs> Kids already know. They do it all day long. It's the adults that don't know how to do it. Think about how persistent your kids are when they want a sweet from you. They want a toy from you. They just keep at it. They know persistence. They, their imaginations are wide open. When they're in the playground, they're imagining wherever they are. They don't question they're in a kitchen in a house when they're just at some mud kitchen. They don't question they're in a castle when they're in a tree. They don't question it. But do teach them. And teach them affirmations. Have you seen that lovely affirmation girl who has her child and she goes, I am beautiful. I love my black glowing skin. I love my curly hair. What's her name? It's called like something affirmations. It's a little girl and her mum. And the mum gets the daughter to repeat the affirmations. It's beautiful. It's lovely. I am loved. I am wanted. I am beautiful. I am kind. And she does it. And the little girl repeats it. It's a wonderful thing to teach your children, darling. Well done. My ex is afraid I'll hurt him. How do I get him to trust me not to? No, darling, he isn't afraid that you'll hurt him. You're thinking that he's afraid you'll hurt him. Darling, all anyone does is reflect your thinking. He's not thinking that at all. You're literally putting thoughts into his brain and he's reflecting them back. You're thinking he thinks that. You've got to get this, guys. There's no such thing as free will. He has no free will to think that. You're thinking that first. Oh, I hurt him. I did something. He hasn't forgiven me. And then you're thinking he's hurt. And therefore, he's reflecting that back to you. Stop fucking thinking that shit, Helen. Stop thinking you've hurt him. Stop thinking that he's afraid. Stop thinking he doesn't trust you. And start saying, we are happily together. He trusts me and only me. I'm his soft place to land. He knows we are just so loved up and we just are supportive of each other and never do anything to harm each other. You all know that even implies the past. I'll just infer that you're already together, darling. Who's your favourite coach from Create Your Future? I love Katie and Alexis. Yeah, I love Katie and Arnie, actually. They're my two favourites. Alexis. Which one's Alexis? Alexis. Oh, is she one of the new ones? Is she the German lady? Oh, there's Uli. And there's another girl called Alexis. Oh, Alexis with the hair. Oh, yeah, she's very good. They're all very good on that channel. Amanda hired the right people. They're very, very good coaches. Excellent. I love that channel. They want that biscuit she asks for 20 times a day. You see, kids know all about manifesting, guys. Their imaginations have never been killed. Start, they start going to school and they get given information. Their imagination starts to die. All your subconscious is is your imagination, okay? And all manifesting is is using that imagination properly. They use it properly all day long. And they have such persistence in what they want and they won't take no for an answer. Because you learn this from a baby. Someone doesn't come and pick you up. You cry and you cry and you cry and you cry until someone picks you up. You don't know not to. You're, told, you're taught persistence from the time you're born. You don't know how to not persist. You're hungry. It's the adults that kill the imagination. It's the adults that stop the persistence. No, you can't. Oh, excuse me. I just burped. You can't have everything. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> how rude. You can't have everything. Money doesn't grow on trees. No, you can't have another sweet. Because I said so. Then they start killing their persistence. 16 new messages, sorry. I'm glad I came across your live. Love your videos. Oh, thank you, darling. Hello. I don't have Facebook. Oh, that's a shame. Well, darling, just watch my lives on here and follow me so that you know when I'm live because I'm live every day, twice a day. But if you join Facebook, just to join Manifest Live with Loz. <laughs> and you've got to put spaces in between, guys. Lots of people couldn't find the Facebook group. It's really annoying because they weren't putting the spaces in between. I didn't know that. And they weren't finding the group. Is your coaching free or do I have to pay? Sorry, darling, it is paid because I'm doing so many lives already and I do have to, you know, earn a living. So it's half an hour over Skype or Messenger, Facebook Messenger. And we do half an hour. You send me the old story of what's happened, what you're trying to manifest. I analyze it before the call. We sit there and we work it the fuck out so you can get what you want. 110 US and it goes for more than half an hour. Um... How do you remember me? Hey, do you remember me? Yes, Alicia Manning, you're always here. I love that you're always here. I remember you. I feel uncomfortable, so I know I need it. What do you need? Coaching? Yes, darling, just DM me. If you would like coaching, guys, DM me. Don't DM me with your fucking story, though, a question, without DMing, without talking about coaching, because I've got like 100 in there, guys. I can't answer them. People are sending me essays. Hi, 
that my name is Christina too. Oh wow. This is two birds of one stone manifesting what we want, eliminating negativity. Love it. Yes, you know why I got darling? Because the negativity is what caused the shit in the first place. Most people are talking about manifesting like it's candles and fucking universe and shit. All it is is your thinking. It's just your thinking. If anyone's telling you you have to be emotional, they don't realise emotion comes from thought. I'm fat. Oh, I feel sad. I feel broken. I feel unwanted. You're feeling that from the thought of I am fat and no one loves me. Everything is thought. Anyone telling you on here that you need emotion to manifest, go and press on the screen. Not interested. Get rid of that feed, guys, for you, page. If you see a salt lamp, see anyone holding a fucking crystal, if you see them with their the emotion meter, just press not interested because this stuff will fucking confuse you. All it is is thinking, my darling. All it is is changing the negative thinking into more positive thoughts. That's, it. That's all it is. What are we talking about? We're talking about changing your negative thinking, manifesting the life you want. Ask a question, my darling. Thank you so much. It worked for me. I'm so elated. Oh, wonderful, Italian girl 28. How should I live in the end? Just affirming every day. Yes, darling. You don't even have to visualize. Just live in the end every day, affirming the new thing you want. I'm going to do 100% self-concept for two weeks. Yes, Sandy. Oh, sorry. I saw your question in the group. I do have to um, approve it. Darling, don't worry about what happened. Live in the end of your mind. Who gives a shit what everyone else is doing? Who cares if everyone's got a boyfriend? They're probably fucking miserable. Probably hate each other. They're just doing it for show at the dinner. Who gives a shit? Don't compare yourself to everyone else. Live in your own little delusional mind up here, Sandy, my darling. Forget about what everyone else is doing. Who gives a crap? You're up here. With your SP in your mind. And then, yes, work on self-concept. My darling, please. Look what happened with someone in the group today. Oh, it was Christina. She just came on the live. Did you see it? She's already got movement from her SP after four days of doing self-concept with me. You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you, darling. I do have a filter. <laughs> there is a filter over the thing. How to live in the end every day. Darling, you've got to live in the end in your mind. We're already together. If you start looking at the 3D, oh. Why hasn't he looked at my snaps? Why hasn't he texted me? That's not living in the end. Got to just ignore this shit. Ignore it. I think I created you, I'm changing you. I created this fucking shit I don't like. It doesn't matter, I'm changing it. How do you get rid of your limiting beliefs? Well, darling, stop calling it a limiting belief for a fucking start. Okay, it's not limiting, it's just a belief you had, now you're getting rid of it. Now, just write all your new beliefs. I am wanted, I am loved, I am chosen. Everyone fucking loves me, I am so smart. I'm the smartest guy in any room. My business is booming. Write all those new beliefs, darling, about yourself. You won't feel that they're beliefs at first. They're just thoughts you're putting in your mind and eventually your subconscious will start it being a new belief. And the limiting ones will start drifting away because you're putting in new ones every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. And it gives up with the old shit. What do I do if I start giving up? Well, darling, I don't know what to tell you there. Stop giving up. Only you can stop giving up. Watch my lives every day, my darling. Go to my Facebook group. Go down. Watch all 12 lives. Okay? Manifest live with laws. Feel better about yourself that you can do this. You've created your life thus far. I keep freezing. How annoying. It says good connection. How frustrating. But darling, fat's A-L-X-X. -X. Don't give up. Watch us every day. Feel better about yourself. Write down all your negative thoughts. Write the opposite as affirmations. Affirm every day. If you do that for a week, my darling, you'll feel so much better and you won't want to give up because you'll know you created everything so you can uncreate it and recreate it. All right, my darling, does that help? I saw my SP this evening on the street. I waved. Is there any way to intensify the manifestation? Darling, don't worry about what you're doing in the outside world. What you're doing outside, waving to them, texting them, makes no fucking difference. Nothing. Because if what you're thinking in your mind is, oh, they don't love me, why didn't they wave back? Oh, I really should text them. Wish they would notice me. They won't notice you because you're thinking the shit. It's what you're thinking that matters, guys, not what you do. Not what you do. What you do in the 3D doesn't make any fucking difference. You can sit down with someone and have the relationship chat. Where do we stand, blah. What you're literally saying with your thinking and your thoughts is, you don't choose me, do you? I don't feel wanted. I need you to tell me um, you've claimed me. Even if you don't say it, you're thinking it and they start going, yeah, 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 we're together. It's fine. And the next minute they broke up with you and you don't know why. It's because you were thinking all this shit while you were saying it. Stop doing stuff in the 3D and start doing it up here, guys. 75 people. Um, I see lots of questions. Okay, tons of questions. I think you have, I think you have technical issues. No, I can see them. Um, do you have to watch your wording? Super careful not to use any negative words. Well, look, your word is your wand. If you start saying my life shit, I'm in crisis. I have PTSD. Yeah. <laughs> so whatever your manifestation is that you want, darling, use affirmations positive with positive words. Yes. 
Does self-concept help with manifesting SP? It's all that helps, darling. It's it. It is your self-concept that drove the specific person away in the first place. It is your um, self-concept that makes them say, I only want to be friends if you've only just met them or your friends. It's your self-concept that does everything. Your concept of you out pictures and people reflect that back. It's only self-concept, darling. Work on that. How can you move on? I don't want to remember him. Okay, Amelia, you ask me so many questions and you keep saying, should I let go? Should I move on? I am assuming from your questions in here that you're not doing anything I'm saying. You're not affirming. You're not building your self-concept up. You're not doing shit. You're just coming in here and asking a question. And then you're saying, should I move on? Yes, go on. Go on and honestly, darling, don't watch this anymore because you're not getting it. You're not getting that you're creating this shit with your mind. You don't have to move on from him. You can start building up your self-concept and get him back. But you keep asking me these questions about how long it's going to take. You wrote a question on my thing today saying, I feel like I should give up. Should I? Should I let go? I don't know. I, only you can answer that, darling. But I'm telling you right now from your questions, you have not done a single thing I've said. Not a single thing. You've not done any affirmations. You're not doing the morning, noon and night. You're not living in the end in your mind with your person. You're not doing any of it. And that's why you're asking these questions over and over and over and over. Give up, darling. And honestly, stop watching this because you're not listening. I'm new here. Twin flame separation is no such fucking thing. Not only is there no such thing as a twin flame. Well, there is if you believe it. But there's no such thing as separation, darling. We're all in each other. We're all one. That's why they can fucking hear you when you have shitty thoughts. Forget separation. There's no such thing. There's fucking bullshit about my twin flame separate from me and so I feel this loss. And What a fucking load of bullshit. They're only your twin flame or your soulmate if you believe they are. The end. You only feel they're separate from you if you think they are. You'll only feel the loss of the separation if you fucking believe that. Absolute bullshit, darling. Stop believing it. Sorry, but twin flame separation. What the fuck? Some of this shit you guys watch on here, I tell you, it's ruining your mind. You're not separate. You can talk to them right now. They can fucking hear you. That's why coincidences happen. That's why ESP, you can think about someone they call you. Well, how are you doing that? Telepathy, guys. They're in you. The end. There's no such thing as twin flame separation. Jesus Christ. Not going off on you, but some of the shit you guys are being taught, it's making you feel bad. It's making you feel like, I'm separate from him. My t I've lost my twin flame. Well, how that's not going to make you feel shit about yourself. Stop watching anything that's telling you that. Go to your page and press, not interested. Hey, I just finished high school and I'm in uni. All my friends have forgotten about me and I'm depressed. Well, darling, stop telling yourself that. Stop telling yourself all your friends have forgotten about you. Start imagining they can't be without you. My friends love me. I love my friends and they love me. I spend time, so much time with all my friends. My friends are blowing up my phone. Start saying that, darling. If you're feeling like you've, you've all separated because high school, now you're going to uni and you need to make new friends, you can also say, I made so many new friends at uni today. Or I have so many new friends at uni. I love my friendship group at uni. I love all my new friends. Start saying that, darling. And please don't say they've forgotten about you because when you say that, they will. What are you talking about? We're talking about manifestation and getting rid of your negative thinking. I suffer with depression slash anxiety and worry that making constant affirmations will turn into obsession. No, darling. Stop fucking telling yourself you've got depression and anxiety for a start when I used to have depression and anxiety and everyone kept, I kept thinking, oh yeah, I'm depressed, aren't I? And then you tell your subconscious mind, oh, I'm anxious. Oh yeah, I'm depressed. You're telling yourself that. No, affirmations aren't turning to obsession. You know what's obsession? Your shitty negative thinking that's causing you to feel anxious, that's causing the depression. That's running all day, isn't it? So all you're doing is putting new thoughts, new positive thoughts in. That's your affirmation. The obsession is the shit that's running in your mind, darling. Stop telling yourself that the affirmations are obsessive. What's obsessive is the shit running in your mind. I want you to be obsessive about the affirmations so you're not depressed and anxious. Thank you. This is great advice, ma'am. Oh, you're welcome. How can I move on and firm every hour? You find someone? Oh, Amelia. Oh, darling, you're asking me so many questions and I swear to you, you're not doing anything I've said. What is Neville's book that he has less God talk? Yeah, less God talk. <laughs> he has a lot of God talk. Feeling is the secret. And also there's a record that he does from the 1940s. I think it's called Imagination Creates Reality. Look up You Are Creators, the YouTube page, You Are Creators. And there's a recent Neville Goddard one that they just posted and it's Neville's old record. And that, he doesn't talk about God in that at all. Um, how do you get rid of negative thoughts, darling? Sandy, you start affirming against it. All that self-concept stuff is just affirming against the negative thinking. So when you have a negative thought about your SP, you've got to start countering it with the positive thought, no, he loves me and only me. Whatever the thought is, think the opposite. That's your new affirmation. Then you 
drum that into your brain every day. That's the only way you drown it out, darling, by repetitively doing it. Are you repetitively doing it? You should be doing it while you're watching this live. Do you go live on Facebook? No, 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 darling, just here. I'm just posting my TikToks here. Okay, not on Facebook. But maybe I will one day. I might do Zooms on Facebook. How do you motivate myself to sleep right now? Well, go to sleep. Um, how do I motivate myself to do college work? Well, darling, just tell yourself that college work comes quickly, like is easy to you and you love studying. You love doing all your assignments. Tell your brain that you love studying. How do you stop charlatans like you manifesting on my For You page? Well, darling, if you think I'm a charlatan and you don't think you're manifesting every day, well, you don't understand how your mind works. You're manifesting all the time. Just um, don't watch. Why are you coming on here to tell me you're a charlatan? Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> are we in my reality right now or yours? I don't know, darling. I don't know. I'm not a quantum physicist. <laughs> no idea. My name is Neville and I was so confused for a minute. <laughs> We're talking about Neville Goddard, who is possibly the greatest teacher about manifesting, what manifesting really is, which is just your mind out picturing. But yes, I wasn't talking about you, but let's talk about you for a second. <laughs> Neville, ah, la, la, la. Do you believe in retro retrograde? No. Darling, you can believe in the moon, retro retrograde, twin flames, candles, fucking whatever, but it'll affect you. If you start thinking, oh, it's in retro retrograde right now, so I'm going to get bad luck and shit's going to happen, all you'll do is look at the bad shit that's happened think, oh, that was because of mercury retrograde. It wasn't. It was just because you believed in mercury retrograde. It's just your thoughts, guys. Your beliefs, they'll outpicture. When you're not in mercury, mercury retrograde and the shit bad shit doesn't happen, you don't think it's because of mercury retrograde. You're literally giving that meaning because of that belief that you have. Can't find your Facebook page. Okay, if you can't find the Facebook page, guys, you've got to put a space in between each word. Manifest, space, live, space, with, space, laws. That's why people aren't finding the page, apparently. It's private. You've got to answer a few questions, but that's why. Do you think sats help? Yeah, the state akin to sleep is what Neville called it. It's basically getting into a drowsy state so that your visualization is easier. I do think it does, but you don't have to. Why is it that whenever I give up, my manifestations come right away? It's because, darling, you've stopped the negative thinking about it. You've not you've stopped habitually worrying about it. You stopped habitually sending out negative thinking about the subject. It's not giving up. It's that your brain has literally shut off that shitty thinking and therefore it manifests because you're not resistant to it anymore. If you gave up, does your manifestation have to come true? No, if you give up thinking about it and affirming about it, it fucking won't. Let me give you the tip. Unless you've stopped all the negative thinking and you've affirmed heaps beforehand and you've lived in the end, giving up, guys. I don't know about this letting go, giving up bullshit you're all listening to, but it doesn't work. Um, do I believe in 369 manifestation? It's not manifesting, darling. It's just affirming the three thing, the six thing. Yeah, you can do it, but you have to think it while you're doing it. Never tried it. And Nikola Tesla never fucking said to do that. That's fucking bullshit. He never spoke about manifestation once in his whole fucking life. He's talking about universal laws. People are adopting all kinds of crap on here about stuff that they don't even know anything about. Love it. All you have to do is change your mind. Reprogram. Yes, darling. You have a, a program running in your phone. Your brain's just like that. It's your operating system. Your operating system's fucked <laughs> from... Seven years old, it's fucked. With whatever you learn from zero to seven, you've got to reprogram that operating system that's running and 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 giving you all this shit that's out picturing the shit in your world. Your phone gets a software update, you don't. Your operating system's fucking old. It's like Netscape. How can, oh, darling, Amelia, I, I can't answer your questions anymore, darling. You keep asking the same shit and you're not listening to a thing I'm saying. Go back and watch every single bit live in my Facebook page and maybe you'll learn something because I can't answer this anymore. And please don't spam with the same question. It's starting to give me the shits. You're not listening. I even got chills since my SP is a rain in and everything. It's reminding me of him. Oh, how funny. Thoughts on subliminals, darling. I don't know what the fuck they're saying, so No. I wouldn't use them unless it's from a really reputable page like Mark, whatever his name is, everyone comments, it's great. What are they saying in those things? I've no idea. Are they saying go and kill people? I've, no, I've not a clue because you can't hear it. How to reset. Hang on. Amelia, Amelia, if you spam that question one more time, I'm actually going to block you, darling, from the page and the chat completely because I'm, I can't answer you again. Okay? I will block you. And I don't want to, but I will, because you're actually spamming the page now. 
Why do my manifestations come as soon as I give up? I did that one. Do you like what if statements? Yeah, you can do that if um, it helps you not feel so resistant. What if that came true? That would be lovely. But I prefer living in the end. That's what Neville teaches. I just think that's more definite. But look, do what if. But, um, they teach what if sometimes on Create Your Future. Have you ever manifested a relationship? You manifest all of them. But yes, I've consciously manifested the last one. And the one before that, I consciously manifested him back while I was with the other one. <laughs> Without realising I did it. Because I affirmed that he would miss me and then he came back and said all the things I said that he would do, that he would miss me, blah, 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 when I was with the other person, but it was too late, I didn't want him anymore. Any advice on feeling stuck and lack of motivation? Well, yes, darling, Marley Active, just stop saying you're not motivated and stop saying you're stuck. stuck. If you say, your subconscious mind hears you all day long, if you keep saying, I'm stuck, this is hard, I've got no motivation, I need to find some motivation, it'll go, yeah, we're not motivated, are we? Fuck, we're really stuck. Stop saying that for a start. Secondly, darling, start looking at your life Realise you created all of it with your mind. Ta-da! You're a master manifester. Now start trying to create the shit you do want. Seriously, if you feel unmotivated, you feel stuck, start making people do things. Imagine someone's going to say, flippity gibbet or something weird. Howdy. Purple people eater. They're going to say something weird they would never normally say. They're going to wear something they would never normally wear. Do it. Affirm that they are. Something, not even, it hasn't to be that complicated, but just anything. You're going to get a free cup of coffee today and then someone gives you a coffee, you'll go, oh, I can do this. And then you won't feel so unmotivated and stuck. Can I manifest a man who doesn't know me? Yes, of course, darling. Because you manifest every relationship with the person who doesn't know you. They didn't know you before you met them, did you? Okay, so just imagine you're in a happy, loving relationship. You're already coupled up in your mind. You don't know who it is. I've slept with someone in my bed before when they're not there and then they turned up weeks later just because I imagined someone was always in my bed every night with me, that he was already there, it was already done, we are already in the relationship. I didn't have to see their face, didn't know what they looked like. Imagine you're already in a relationship, darling, it will come about. Found the Facebook page, thanks. Oh, you're welcome, darling. Don't you think ignoring our problems will eventually blow up in our face? What do you mean ignoring your problems? Well, darling, stop telling yourself you've got fucking problems. That's why you've got problems. So you keep telling yourself it's problems. You keep seeing obstacles. I've got problems. Your subconscious goes, fuck, we've got so many goddamn problems. Then it starts looking for evidence. Oh, look at that. That's a problem. That's an obstacle. God, God, we're riddled with problems. Your subconscious listens to you all day long. You think you've got problems. So it's going to blow up on your face, darling, because you said you've got problems and you're saying it'll eventually blow up in my face. Guess what will happen to you? Won't happen to me because I don't believe that fucking bullshit. You've got to be really aware, guys. What are you saying to yourself? Oh, this is all going to blow up in my face if I do that. Ta-da! Guess what will happen to you, darling? Stop saying that shit. What you say all day long, your subconscious hears, and it will try and find evidence that that is true. That's what it's for. Please stop saying that. I affirmed I'd understand your teachings better, and now I really get it. It's becoming a habit. Great, my darling. I freaking love you. Oh, great. Lots of questions are being asked. Yes, good. I'm seeing them. I'm seeing them, Jennifer. Can I manifest a man who doesn't know me? Oh, you've written that 10,000 times. Stop catfishing your spam. What do you mean? <laughs> if I finally start doubting my manifestations, it will come instantly or do I have to wait? If I finally start doubting my manifestations, it will it come instantly or do I have to wait? I don't understand that question. Doubting a manifestation won't fucking help for a start. Stop doubting it. Doubt is the devil. Is that what you're saying? Doubting it's not going to make it come instantly. It's going to kill it. Stop doing that. I don't know your question, darling. I don't really understand it. TikTok is acting up. Man, who doesn't know me? What? TikTok is acting up. People need to ask here. Oh, okay. You've got to press the question. Oh, the question button down the bottom. Is that helping, darling? Okay. It's that little question button at the chat, guys. Maybe press that. I don't think she can see them for some reason. No, no, I'm seeing them. Guys, maybe re-put your question in that little question button. See that little tiny question button down there the, with the little red dot? Or that little question mark? Put the question in there for me and maybe then I'll see it. 369 manifestation. Do you incorporate it with self-concept affirmation? Darling, 369 manifestation isn't a thing. You mean 369, writing it three times, six times, nine times. It's just a way of affirming. It's just writing shit down. I don't recommend it. I think it's a load of bullshit. Darling, if you want to do it instead of doing what I fucking told you to do, do it. But... Write it down, three, six, but you've got to think it. Writing it down doesn't do anything, darling. That's all you're talking about, writing it down. 
it won't do shit for you if you don't imagine I am happily married to blah while you're writing it down. I am lovable while you're writing it down. Understand? I don't recommend writing it down, guys, unless you're actually thinking the thought. Writing it down doesn't do fuck all if you're not thinking it. It's like a vision board. You can plaster your vision board with all kinds of pictures, but you, you don't imagine you live in that house. It won't do shit for you. You've got to do it in your mind, guys. Imagine in your mind. Live up here in your mind. Writing shit down is bullshit. Which Neville book is the one with less Bible talk? I've seen that again. I said to you, feeling is the secret. Feeling is the secret. So you're saying think happy, be happy? Yes. Think positive thoughts instead of negative ones. Not feel happy. Think positive thoughts to replace the negative ones you already have, darling. I finally stopped doubting my manifest will come. Oh, I saw that one. Talking with a friend in your imagination about the things you have manifested is a good thing. Only if that friend is into manifestation, darling, because otherwise they'll think you're an idiot. And they'll start reflecting back your doubts and then it'll make you feel bad. Guys, I wouldn't recommend talking about manifesting with anyone who doesn't understand it or you don't think they're going to be open to the idea. Because what they'll do is they'll reflect your doubts and they'll say, oh, that shit doesn't work. And you'll go, oh, maybe it doesn't work. And all they're doing is reflecting your thought about it. It's like talking to your friend about your ex-boyfriend. She'll say, I think you should give up on him. It's been seven months. What are you doing? And all they're doing is reflecting your negative thought you already had. Okay? Can I manifest a new relationship? Yes, of course, darling. Just imagine you're in one. Girl, I just ruined my journal about manifestation. I had a mental breakdown. What are you talking about? I just ruined my journal about manifestation, had a mental breakdown. What do you mean, darling? Because I said don't write stuff. Is that what you're talking about? No, you can write stuff. You can have a journal. I have a journal. But guys, when you're writing the 369 thing or the 55 by 5, not journaling like writing a new story or writing a lovely letter from your SP or whatever, you can do that. But I'm saying if you're going to repetitively write affirmations but not thinking them, that's not going to work. You can journal it, but you have to think it while you're doing it. You can't be like... John and I have a marriage, John and I have a marriage, John and I have a marriage, and thinking about what you're going to have for dinner, thinking about the fact you need to go to the toilet. That's not going to impress your subconscious mind. Is that what you're talking about, Amy? Right, Amalek, you're blocked. I'm sorry, darling, but I can't handle seeing your same fucking question 10,000 times and I've already goddamn answered it. It's just really rude to everyone else. Can I manifest a new relationship even if it's long distance? Yes, darling, long distance doesn't matter. Circumstances don't matter. So it doesn't matter. If you live up here in your mind, it'll come about. It doesn't matter the distance. doesn't matter if there's COVID. doesn't matter if you haven't seen each other for a year. It doesn't matter. You've got to live in the end in your mind, darling, as if it's already happened. I'm going to take you guys to my kitchen so I can make a coffee because I'm, I, I need my energy. Answering all these questions is tiring, especially when I've only had one morning coffee and it's nighttime where you guys probably are and it's morning here and I've only had one coffee. Ten messages. Sixteen. God. Does manifestation work with shyness? Yes, darling, just affirm that you're not shy anymore. I have so much confidence. I'm the most confident girl in every room. Everyone comments about how co confident I am. Imagine people saying to you, gee, you've got so confident recently. What's happened? Okay, imagine people talking to you about how confident you are and you're not shy anymore. You don't have to say, I'm not shy. Just say, I am the most confident girl. I feel great about myself at all times. Start affirming that, darling, whatever the opposite of feeling shy is. He asked who I was. Who are you talking about? Can I manifest a new relationship? Yes, I did that. It did. I did it last week. What are you talking about, mini minx? Separation is stuck in negative mindset. Pivot your thoughts. Yes, darling. There's no such thing as fucking separation. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous thinking. Um, can you manifest physical changes? Yes, darling. Go and watch my video on my page about manifesting physical appearance changes. Okay? Your mind runs your body. So, of course you can. You can change your skin, your body shape. Your eye colour, everything. I know it sounds crazy, but you can. I mean, you're not going to turn yourself into a six-foot-tall black basketball player when you're a short white girl. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Within reason. Um, just imagine your body that way, darling. Imagine people commenting on how it's changed and say, I have beautiful glowing skin. I have, I am so thin. Whatever it is you're trying to do, start affirming for it, darling. Sorry, 18 new messages. Christ. Oh, what's happened? Oh, God. If the third party... Oh, hang on. If the third party keep invading in my manifestations, can you manifest each time for them to leave? Darling, if you're thinking about... If you're talking about them invading your mind, you've got to stop thinking about them, darling. I'm really sorry, but you've just got to get harnessed on that. Just imagine she's fucking get, got hit by a bus. Stop looking at their socials. 
and seeing her there. Stop imagining her at all. If you, whatever you focus on grows, guys. If you keep imagining a third party, the person who's taken away your person, they'll stay there. You can affirm that they've left. You can affirm that they've found someone else. But I'm telling you right now, that's just giving them life. You're giving them life by even affirming that they've gone away. You can say, she's found someone new. She's happily with someone new. You can do that, darling. Try it. But if it's constantly giving you, thank you, Tania, for the present. If it's constantly giving you anxiety and it makes you think about her, then don't fucking think about her and just affirm that you two are together. Such a queen. Oh, thanks, Georgia. Sorry about my um, frother thing making noise. It didn't work yesterday. Hang on. My frother always works. There you go. Started working. Um, you're still here. Yes, I am. Any more questions, guys? Didn't work for me. What, what, darling, don't write tiny little sentences, Minnie, because I can't actually see it. Can you write the whole question? Because I can't see what you're referring to when you say didn't work for me. I can't. He asked who it was. I don't, I don't, I can't see the question. Write the whole question as one sentence, darling. SP wife drop off with kids went awesome. Great. I was doing affirmation. She even came back and talked. Wonderful. Yeah, it's really hard, isn't it, when you've got like, you've got to see your SP and you do the kid drop off and everything. Lots of people ask me about kid drop off. Wonderful, darling. Keep affirming in your mind. And when you do the drop offs, they will act differently. Yay, congratulations. Thoughts on Sammy Ingram? She's wonderful. I learned heaps from her. Go and watch her channel, guys, on YouTube. Sammy Ingram. She teaches Law of Assumption. She teaches Neville. Well, she doesn't base everything on Neville, but she bases on her experience. That's what I'm doing too. I'm not like teaching you straight Neville because I'm not Neville. But she teaches from her experience of what she manifested and what she learned. I started watching your lives when you had 20 people max watching. Look at this now, Lois. Oh, 72 people. Crazy. Oh, thanks, darling. It's nuts. I had a dream my SP called and it felt so real I woke up. Oh, wonderful. Well, darling, just give that good meaning. Don't put the cry emoji. Why are you crying? Darling, whatever your dreams are doesn't mean anything. You give it meaning. If you have a dream about your specific person, make it a good meaning. Oh, they're thinking about me. That must mean they're thinking about me. Guys, just give your dreams good meaning because I'm getting so many fucking questions about goddamn dreams and I'm not a dream analyst. I don't have a clue. All I know is about your subconscious. Stop thinking it's a bad thing. What is SP? Sorry, specific person. I just use that because I don't know if you're with a girl, a guy. Um, I don't know if it's an ex, if it's a new person, if it's your mum you didn't talk to for years, if it's your best friend you, you've broken a friendship up with. It's just YouTube speak for person that you're thinking about, that you want back. Okay, that you're thinking about. Any more questions, guys? I've missed them all. Is there a book you recommend on manifesting? Yes, anything by Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard. You can read his lectures for free on um, Google. Just put in Neville Goddard Lectures or Free Neville. Free Neville. You can read them, but they're very, very biblical. He taught, he translates the Bible and tells you that the Bible is all about creation and the creating it. You have your power within you, so it's hard to get through sometimes. I would also read The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. I would read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I would read um, The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin. Or anything by Florence Scovel Shin. I think one is the your word is your wand. All these are audio books, guys, on um, YouTube. I listen to Florence. I haven't actually picked up a book of hers and read it. They're all dead, these people I'm talking about. Dead. What do you do when you're having marital problems? Oh, someone just sent me fire and didn't see who it was. Oh, Sandy Kane. Oh, thank you. What do you do when you have marital problems? Misty. Frequencies, you realise you fucking caused it with your shitty insecurities and your shitty negative thinking and you can change it, darling. Marital, problem, marital problems are caused by your expectations and your terrible fucking thinking. Thanks, Anna Patricia. So you started thinking, he's not giving me enough affection. Maybe he doesn't love me as much as he used to. Maybe maybe not enough for him. Maybe he's looking at other women. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Thanks, Misty. Darling, that's what's happening. So all you need to do is start changing your thought. Oh, thanks, Tanya. Thanks, guys. Start feeling differently about you. Work on your self-concept, darling. Build yourself up to such good levels that your husband isn't treating you the way he's treating you right now. He'll start giving you more affection. He'll start calling you more from work. You won't argue as much anymore. And then see him differently, darling. Write down the old version of you, the old version of him. Now write down the new version of you, new version of him, and stop seeing him as the old version. 
every time he turns up in your 3D reality with the old shit, ignore it. He does something, go, okay. Or remove yourself in the situation, go for a walk, go to the bedroom, get yourself out of there so you don't react and fight. You don't say something in the 3D because you're changing him. I'm changing you. I'm changing you, motherfucker. You're changing. You're changing to the person I want. Start thinking that and he will start to change. But you have to change you first, darling. You have to imagine that you are loved, that he loves you. Okay? Thanks, Kathleen. Everyone is you pushed out. It means that they will reflect what you're thinking about you and them. Do you have to be careful with my wording for affirmations? No negative words like no debt. It will just say I have money. I mean, you don't want to say I have no debt because that's implying you had debt. You're not living the end of having no debt. You see what I'm saying? Can you tell us your manifestation story? Oh, my God. I have banged on about my manifestation story so many times. People are probably sick of it if they're followers. Can you talk about changing the story, everyone, as you pushed out? Yes, I will talk about that. All of Neville's teachings based on the Bible, I'm not Christian, neither am I, darling. I was a fucking atheist when I found Neville. Neville. I'd gone to some Anglican school that drummed all this shit in my mind. I always asked in Bible study, well, that doesn't make any fucking sense. How did Mary have a baby? Didn't she just think she wanted to be pregnant she was? How did he create all the fishes and everything? Didn't he just do that with his mind? And the guy couldn't tell me, couldn't answer me. And then I found Neville and went, yes, that's right. They just did it with their mind. Ta-da. They had God inside them. We're all powerful. We did it. Hooray. You don't have to be Christian. You don't have to believe in God to understand Neville. All he's doing is he's not even a Christian. He's not religious. Neville was never religious. He was never part of any religion. And he used to get, people used to argue with him all these different faiths and they'd say, but aren't you a Christian? He'd say, no, I am God. And they'd go, what? <laughs> okay. Um, can you talk about changing the story, everyone, as you pushed out? Right, so that thing I just said, you write down the old story of them and the old story of you and change the old story of them and the old story of you. Write a whole new story. Okay, people are sending me stories for their coaching and I'm wanting to scream through the screen because their story is holding them back. The old story of them is keeping them where they are and that's the problem, okay? So write the old story. Everyone is you pushed out simply means everyone in your reality because you create your reality with your thoughts is based on your thoughts about you, them and the situation or situations in general, say relationships. Relationships never work out for me. Men always cheat. That's your thought about the situation and it will out picture and you will end up in relationships that never work out and men will cheat on you. If you think I'm not lovable, I'm not good enough, that will reflect in your 3D. If you think I'm the queen bee, everyone treats me like I'm the shit, everyone will treat you like that. If you think your partner doesn't love you anymore, they're not giving you enough attention, they must be looking at other girls, that's exactly what will out picture. That is everyone is you pushed out. It's what you think of them, of you, of it. Okay, darling? This is practical, no-nonsense approach and not magical thinking. It works. Yes, darling, because it is just your thinking. All manifestation is is thinking. It's your dominant Habitual thinking creates your reality. Write this down. Your dominant thoughts create. That's all you need to know about manifesting. Oh, so all I need to do is change my dominant thinking? Yes. <laughs> no candles, no crystals, no bullshit. Guys, honestly, I'm not joking. If your view page has a guy with a crystal, if someone's sitting with a salt lamp and some fucking tarot, or they're talking about the emotion meter or vibration or frequency, please press, press, press your screen hard and press not interested and stop that shit from going on your for you page and just watch other stuff because what happens when you watch that shit it actually pulls you out of the mindset that it's just your thinking what neville talks about is you need to buy the pearl you need to either understand your thoughts create your reality or it doesn't and you believe in frequencies and vibration and candles and shit you either understand this or you don't there's kind of no in between and once the penny drops guys all you need to do is change your thoughts it's like an epiphany you've never had in your whole fucking life and you're like oh my god why didn't i know this all along Hi, Loz. I don't think you see me. How's 369 manifestation work? Sandy, I already answered it. I said to you, 369 is a load of bullshit. People are talking about Nikola Tesla on here like he spoke about manifestation. The guy never fucking mentioned it. He was a scientist. He was talking about 369 as numbers of the universe. And people think because manifestation is about the fucking universe, he's talking, they're talking about Tesla. It's a load of bullshit, darling. Do exactly what I asked you. Write down your affirmations if you need to as three times, six times, nine times. But you have to think the fucking thing. Think them, darling. Don't write them down. I love you, but I answered it already. <laughs> Don't worry about 369. Did we talk about 369? No. Don't do that if it doesn't help. And if you're not thinking about it, it won't help. Do it if it helps. But if you're not thinking it, it won't help. So I just rewrite how SP thinks of me. Yes, darling, rewrite the whole story. He now loves me. He thinks this of me. He's constantly giving me gifts and compliments and, and affection. He loves me so much. 
Yes, you can do it. Doesn't matter what they're saying or anything. You are the master. Yes, darling. What's going on? Darling, we're talking about manifestation and changing your negative fucking thinking. Um, hang on, I'm, tr I'm scrolling up. I feel embarrassed every time I remember I believed in law of attraction. Oh, darling, don't worry. We all did. I bloody listened to The Secret and all that shit and I was so confused. Then I listened to Bob Proctor and even he was confusing because he was still talking about vibration. Even fucking Oprah talks about vibration, doesn't understand how she manifested her entire amazing life. Everyone's vibrating. This coffee pot is vibrating. My cream is vibrating. I'm vibrating. Well, how do I know how much fucking vibration I need? Have we all got vibration meters? No. It's all a load of bullshit. Don't worry that you believed all that shit. Just understand now what you're thinking. Like the secret got it right at the beginning. They said, it's your thoughts. Think of that you're rich. But then it said, and the universe will provide. Let it go and wait to be rich. And everyone's waiting around, being waiting for me a millionaire after reading that fucking book and it hasn't happened. Sandy, did I answer your question, darling? How can I manifest relationships long distance? Why are you all repeating your question? Are you not hearing my answer? I answered it already. Thank you for everything. Oh, you're welcome, Blue Raven. How do you manifest health and motivation? Well, darling, stop telling yourself you're not motivated and stop selling yourself you're not healthy, if that's what you're doing. And then start saying, I am in perfect health. My body is thriving. I'm thriving with health. I'm so motivated every day. When I wake up, I jump out of bed, ready for the day. Okay? I always want to do my work. I love my work. Give those... Her consult is amazing. Oh, thanks, Sandy. Um, yeah, guys, if you want one-to-one -one coaching, just DM me. I do video coaching with you guys. Which name book is the one? Oh, yes. I'm seeing all these questions a million times. It's just, am I being spammed by TikTok and you guys actually aren't repeating it? It's just repeating it for you? How weird. What is a specific person that's SP, a specific person, darling, like your ex or your friend you haven't spoken to? Stop spamming the same comment. Yes, I know. I don't know if people are or if TikTok is doing it because there's something wrong with this life. Wow, 80 people. This is the most people I've ever had. I've only been going live for a week. How exciting. Any questions, guys? Just hang out with SP for the fourth time this week. Yay, Alexis Cardona. Hooray. Live in the end in your mind, darling. You're already together. We are already blissfully happily married. Yes, darling. Brilliant. Let us know what happens. Can you tell us your most mind-blowing manifestation story? I think my car. I think my car is my most, my, most mind-blowing because... Recently, I tried to get a car. I was going to get a second-hand car. I had $6,000, and I realized I would need to spend nine grand to get the same equivalent car from a couple of months ago because of corona. There's no second-hand cars here. They're all sold out because everyone's moved back to WA because there's no corona, and there's a big demand for rental properties and cars. So I got this rental property imagining I lived here before at the inspection, and I got it over a whole lot of people who offered more money, so that was kind of mind-blowing. I used visualization when I was here in the house to make sure I got it. Okay, but with my car, I had a shitty old car. I drove the car every day saying, I love my new car. I love my new car. I love my new car. It was so easy for me to get so lovely and cool in here, lovely air conditioning. It's so technological. I can listen to my YouTube videos. I can talk to people on the phone. And I was saying it as I was driving. And I imagined that car, that shitty old car was my new car. It was white. It was a hatchback. And it was almost brand new. That's what I wanted. But I didn't realize what I was saying was, I love my new car. I love my fancy new car. Well, guess what I ended up getting in the end? A brand new car, and I wasn't expecting it. Then I got it on no credit, even though I was told I couldn't have any credit. I ended up getting a credit loan that, with no interest. And the guys at the car yard, when they said, which one do you want? I said, I want a white one. They said, there aren't any. I said, Christ, oh, I just want a white one. They said, oh, it's black, red, blah. I said, well, get, bring me in the black one. And then I said to him, I was standing with my boyfriend, I said, well, I'm sure, Brad, on Monday when you ring me about the black one, a white one will magically appear. And he was like, he looked at me and my boyfriend, like my boyfriend, like, like your girlfriend is nuts. And he goes, Lauren, I don't know what to tell you. We are the only dealership in the whole of WA who has this particular car. There aren't any white ones. They're not arriving till March. This was in December. I said, I'm sure one will turn up on Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, one turned up. They don't know where it came from. They have no idea. The guy walked towards me because I bought it off another guy in the end. The guy, Brad, walked towards me. Do you like your new black MG? Thought I had the black one. I said, come here, look at this. And he looked at the white MG and he went, and he was shocked. He went, where'd that come from? I said, it came from my mind. And he goes, it must have, because that was not on the computer. That's probably my most mind-blowing, because I literally manifested out of thin air. It didn't exist. On the Friday, on the Tuesday, I had it. The only people who believe that story are the guys in the car yard who knew there was no white MG hatchback. Are you seeing my questions? Sorry, I'm still banging on. Christine Clark, I'm going to look. 
How can I manifest a relationship if it's long distance? Katie Clark, I already answered this. Circumstances don't matter. I don't care if they live in Timbuktu. It doesn't matter. If you live in the end in your mind, circumstances do not matter. They can live so far away, there's corona, you can't visit them. doesn't matter. Things will start moving to make it come about that you end up together. I don't care if you go to his country, he comes to your country, you meet in a desert island in the middle. If you live in the end in your mind, it has to conform to your reality, you know, to your thinking, to your vision. It has to conform. Don't worry about the distance. It doesn't matter. Keep saying to yourself, circumstances don't matter. Circumstances don't matter. Okay? Did I answer you? Do you believe in fate? No, darling, I create my own. I create my reality. Fuck fate. Uh, oh, God, I'm seeing all the same bloody questions. I'm a believer. Oh, that's good, darling. Um... I always manifest the opposite. Like when I say he will not text me, then he actually ends up texting me. Oh, I don't know, you're doing like reverse affirming. <laughs> Amazing. Skinny people. What? Skinny people only, Melissa. I don't know what you're talking about, darling. Um... Can you manifest a new relationship while you're in one? Well, darling, why don't you just fix the one you're in? You can, because you created it being bad. But, darling, if you do want to create a new one, yes, imagine you are in that new relationship in your head and you're not in the old relationship anymore. I manifested a third party to leave, but another one came and still here. Well, darling, because you imagine they would. They'd probably find someone else, you were thinking, and then they did. They probably don't want me, and then they didn't. Stop thinking that shit. What, what's facts, Melissa? <laughs> I just joined and already love this. Laugh my ass off. What's it about? <laughs> Thanks, Leon Bagger. Okay, we're talking about manifesting. Because all manifesting is, is changing your negative thinking to positive thinking to manifest what you want in your life. We're talking about banishing your negative thinking. Stopping having anxiety and depression and manifesting the life of your dreams. Ask me a question. Can I manifest... An SP, but still a crush on others. I feel like that ruins my manifestation. No, darling, I manifested my ex back when I was already with someone else. Didn't stop him coming back and wanting me. You can manifest 10 SPs if you want, 10 specific people, 10 boyfriends, imagining one, be with the other. Doesn't matter. You choose in the end who you want. It's your reality. You can have 10. Doesn't make any difference, and it won't kill your manifestation if you're dating while you're still imagining living with the end in your mind with the one you want. Doesn't matter. I love your honesty. It's refreshing to have someone saying it. It's brilliant. Oh, thank, thanks, Lou. Um, I absolutely believe what you just said. <laughs> yeah, you know what, guys? You know why you start believing it? Because you start realising, oh, yeah, shit, I did do that with my mind. I did, I did break us up with all my shitty insecurities. Fuck. And don't beat yourself up when you realise this, guys. But you start believing this because you realise it's true about your thoughts. Your dominant thoughts created your reality thus far. Therefore, give yourself some power and realize, oh, fuck, I, I created that. Therefore, I can change it. And then you'll believe this. Thanks, darling. Can I manifest losing weight? Yes, Divine Diana. Go and watch my um, probably most popular video at the moment about manifesting appearance changes. It's got a little sticker of a girl washing her hair. I was talking about how I made my hair wavy with my brain. Go and watch it. But, darling, just imagine everyone telling you how thin you are. God, you look like you've lost weight. You, what have you been doing? Imagine your friend on the phone. You look amazing at the moment. What's happening? Tell yourself, I'm so wonderfully thin. I love my new figure. This is so true. Yes, darling. I thought about a baby with me, SP, when we broke up. We got back together and had a baby forever. I've had baby fever. I thought about a baby with my SP when we broke up and we got back together and he had baby fever. Oh, so you were thinking about a baby. When he got back together, he wanted to have a baby. Exactly. One of the coaches in the manifestation um, group that I follow on Facebook, she was talking about she wanted another baby and she kept saying, I want another baby, I want another baby, I want another baby, I want another baby. And her boyfriend kept saying, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want another baby. She never even said it. He just kept saying, I don't think we should have another one. I don't think we should have another one. And one day he just walked in and he said, I'm going to give you that baby. <laughs> she was like, okay. <laughs> it's amazing. They hear you. She didn't even have to say anything. Believe in yourself. That is your strength, your own will. Yes, darling, because guess what? Everyone else in your reality doesn't have any will. They don't have any free will. They're only reflecting your thoughts. So believe in your thoughts, creating, and guess what? You'll create the life you want. I see so much movement from others. Great! What movement are you seeing? Tell us. That is so true. Any more questions? 
I've been manifesting my ex, but recently found out he's in a new relationship. Should I stop? Well, darling, the reason why he's in a new relationship is because you thought he would get into one. You were thinking, fuck, I hope he doesn't meet you on he knew. I bet you he has. Fuck, I bet you it's some hot chick, blah, 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 fucking blah. And then you created it with your thinking. So uncreate it with your thinking. Start thinking he wants you and only you. Oh, sorry, someone's mowing the lawn outside. Darling, everyone creates third parties with their fear of a third party showing up. So now just create a new reality where you and he are together and that person doesn't fucking exist. Don't give them your attention. If you give them attention, they grow. What you focus on grows. Don't give her any attention. The bitch will go away. Okay, that's how you get rid of a third party. Start affirming that you and he are together. The end. All right. Any more questions, guys? Hang on. I'm scrolling down. Can you? Um, I affirm every hour living in the end and he rejected me. I was sure he loved me. Well, darling, you're thinking he rejected you. Guys, rejection is only in your mind. Someone can only reject you if you think they have. An actor could go to an audition and do the same audition as this actor. This actor gets told, no, we didn't take you. And they go, they go great, all right, fine, thank you. This actor wants to kill themselves because they didn't get the part. They feel rejected, this person doesn't. It's your choice, darling, to feel rejected. Stop feeling like you're rejected. Stop saying he rejected you. St start living in your mind that he is with you. Oh, Pie Waker, hi! We've got our thing coming up. Um... I affirm every hour living in the end and he rejected me. I'm sure he loved me. Well, darling, you're telling yourself he rejected you. You're telling yourself he doesn't love you, so therefore he won't love you and he will reject you. Stop saying that shit. If you're living in the end in your mind and you're still saying that shit, it's going to cancel out the living in the end. Stop saying that stuff. Hey, so he is with me. Yes, darling, imagine they're already with you here. You're already happily married. Guys, you've got to live in the end in your mind. If someone wants to be a famous actor, they already think they are famous. The Jim Carreys, the Oprahs. Everyone thought they were already famous before they were. That's how they became famous. They believed in themselves. They didn't take no for an answer. And they already knew they would be famous. Do that with your SP. We're already together. I don't give a fuck, a fuck what that asshole says. 82 people. Wow, so most people have 83. Holy shit. Better not log off. Just bought Feeling as a Secret. Hooray! But guys, also, you don't have to go and find Neville's books on Amazon. You can actually just find his lectures on um, Google. I forgot that all his lectures are actually free. Put in free Neville and all his lectures are there. But Feeling as a Secret, they're, they're full of God stuff. Feeling as a Secret, much easier to read. Much, much easier. Hi from Morocco. Wow, I've never been there. I've always wanted to go. My parents lived there for a while. Um, not in a bad way. You're just amazing. <laughs> Thanks, darling. Thank you so much. How is that in a bad way? How do you get someone to stop thinking it's over? Well, you're thinking they're thinking it's over. They don't think it's over. You think they think that. Just get your head around that for a second. Everyone in your reality reflects back what you think they think. If you think they think it's over, they will reflect back to you that it's over. But you were the one who thought it first. Guys, Neville calls it the only cause that you... And your thinking is the only cause of your reality. What people say to you, how they treat you, the situations, it's all you. You thought at first, it outpictured. You started thinking, he doesn't want me. I think he wants someone else. I'm probably not good enough for him. I think he doesn't want me anymore. I think he just wants to be friends. I think this is over. And then he will say, this is over. Do you understand? Stop thinking that and start thinking you're together. Can you tell us, I've said on that one, I love how straightforward you are. So real and raw. Love it. Oh, thank you, darling. I can't help it. I'm very Australian like that. Do you have to truly believe the affirmations? No, darling, you don't have to believe them at all. Not at all. Don't have to believe them at all. Just say them. Say them and 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 say them. I am happily married. I am happily married. I'm happily married. Don't do it like that. But I am happily married. John and I are happily married. I am beautiful. When I walk in a room, everyone takes notice. I am chosen. I am lovable, motherfucker. Start saying them every day. You won't believe it at first. If you believe you're fat and ugly and you're saying every day, I am beautiful just the way I am, you're not going to believe it, are you? Don't worry about anyone who tells you you have to feel it. You have to believe it. They're full of shit. Tell them to come on this channel and argue with me because they're an idiot. Um, It's lag. Oh, it's lagging again? Oh, God. Any more questions, guys? Oh, thanks, VeggieCat55, for the fire. Oh, thanks. I have a horrible boss who puts everyone down and brings the worst energy. How do I tackle that? Okay, 
Darling, first of all, stop saying they're a horrible boss. You have a horrible boss. They will turn up horrible because you think they are. They will turn up horrible because you think they're horrible. If you change your mind about that person, they'll start acting different. They're so nice. They're so nice all of a sudden. He's the nicest person to be around. He's always so giving and loving and caring to all of us staff members. He doesn't overload us with work. He appreciates us. His energy is so lovely to be around. Start saying that. I know it sounds really weird, but they'll start turning up different. That's the only way you can do it. You've got to see him or her differently. Don't imagine their energy the way you've been thinking. Write a whole new version of that person and start affirming. I love being around this person. They bring me such good vibes. I love being in their presence. They are so good to me. My boss is the best boss I've ever had. And they will change. It's got nothing to do with them and everything to do with you and what you think about them. Can you do affirmations on self-love? Yes, darling, I call it self-concept because you can love yourself but still think um, no one. You could say, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself, but then say, relationships never work out for me. And then you won't get in relationships even though you love yourself. I don't call it self-love, I call it self-concept. Go to my video, guys, about self-concept for your SP. Start watching those. I'm going to do a whole series on self-concept because it's incredibly important. Start building yourself up. Start doing my affirmations. I am irreplaceable. I am a queen and I'm treated like a queen. All my affirmation videos have a filter on them, guys, blue or stars or whatever. Start doing those and you'll feel better about yourself. The affirmations are in there, okay? It's going to look like a spam, but I wasn't. it wasn't working and lagging. Oh, that's right, Veggie Cat. I have horrible boss. Uh, these are all repeating. I don't know if you guys are repeating them or you're not hearing me or... How did you sort out that situation? Which situation, darling, are you talking about? It's lagging. Is this video really lagging? This is so annoying. I, I, it's fine, my end. Not sure if you're answered, but my ex is hitting up my close friend. Does that mean anything? My ex is hitting up my close friend. You mean it's cracking onto your close friend? Well, that's because you're imagining... He's a player, he's going to crack onto other girls, my friend is a slut and she will talk to my ex. Whatever your thoughts are, darling, are causing the situation. Stop thinking that about him and stop thinking that about her and stop thinking you're not good enough. Start thinking in your mind you're together and he won't do that anymore. But it's whatever version of him you have in your mind that he's a player, he'll start doing that. Honestly. Can you... Uh... I find it hard to let go of my manifestation and trust they will come. Any tips on how? No, darling, Rebecca Gillen, maybe you've just joined us. I don't believe in that letting go bullshit. You can't let go. You're going to be thinking about it all fucking day. Any idiot on here who's telling you to let go, press not interested in their channel because they're an idiot. All you need to let go of is the how, how it's going to come about, and the old story of you and them. But don't let go of affirming. Don't let go of visualizing. You've got to create new thoughts in your mind to outpicture a new reality. If you let go, you're just going to keep thinking the negative shit you've always thought. And nothing will fucking eventuate. And then you'll think, this LOA stuff doesn't work. I'm not teaching LOA. LOA is a load of bullshit. The universe isn't doing anything for you. You're not letting anything out go to make the universe attract shit for you. You do it, darling, with your mind and only you do it. You have the power within you. Only you can do it. So if only you can do it and your thoughts created the situation in the first place you're trying to change, you have to habitually put new affirmations, new positive thoughts in there. You have to visualize all the time and living in the end that you're already the man or woman you want to be. You do not let go. Letting go is a load of shit. I don't understand. Australia has an abundance of makes to choose from. What are you talking about? Cars? Well, not that car. Not in WA. There was no MG hatchback white one in the whole of WA. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Pie, is that what you're talking about? I don't know. What, what, pie worker, explain your question. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about, darling. I missed the, um, the question or the thing you're talking about. Wow, this is making me realise why my last relationship failed. Thank you. Oh, sorry, guys. I know. It's hard. It's hard when you hear this. It's like, I fucked up my relationship, didn't I, with my insecurities kicked in. It's, 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 it's heartbreaking, guys. I know. But don't beat yourself up. Just know that you did it so you can change it. You're that fucking powerful. Okay? Everything always works out exactly the way I desire. That's my new one. That's brilliant. Everyone. Everything always works out exactly how I want it. Love it. Uh, hang on. What are your opinions on Eckhart Tolle? I like the guy, but he's hard to listen to because he takes so long to answer a question. He's so zen, he's practically fast asleep. <laughs> what was your question, darling? Um, Pie Whacker about the make? I don't understand what your question was, my sweet. So sometimes I question if manifesting somehow tests my religious faith. Well, darling, 
read the Bible again because religion teaches you to rely on the religion you're in. The Bible is actually about you. It's saying the whole way through, I am the light, I am the way. It's not saying he is. It's saying you. When you read it, I am saying you. I am the light, I am the way. I can wound, I can heal. Oh, can I? Oh, fuck, that, this book's about me. It's showing me that God created the world in seven days. Why Why did he do that? That, that Jesus can get fishes and loaves from his mind. Fuck, can I do that too? It's been very misinterpreted through religion, darling. So don't worry about manifesting being against your religion. The whole fucking Bible is about manifesting. It's about telling you you are God of your reality and you can create whatever you want with your mind. God is in you. It tells you the whole time. Do you not realize that Jesus Christ is in you? Do you not realize you are all gods? It tells you over and over and over again. Test yourself and see. Oh, I was remarking that Australia has so many men to choose from. Oh, men to choose from. Does it? <laughs> I haven't seen that. Well, it probably does. I must have a, an opinion that it doesn't. Oh, I thought you were talking about my car, darling. Okay. My boss constantly puts everyone down and brings the worst energy. Okay, I did that one. Do you say your specific person's name or assume it is knowing who you're intending? If you say he, it knows, but I would say their name. It doesn't have to be their full name. Just say John or Harry or whatever. Do say their name. Yes. Don't say SP and I are happily married. Mine will go, fuck's SP. My crush doesn't believe in manifestation and when I talk about it, he laughs at me. We don't fucking discuss it with him, darling. Most people are asleep. They don't understand they're just doing this all fucking day. They think it's about the universe or the secret or some bullshit. It's not about any of that stuff. Guys, don't discuss this stuff with anyone who's going to cause you to feel like this is wrong or you're doing it wrong or you're an idiot because all they're going to do is reflect your thinking and your doubts about it. They'll reflect it back in what they say. They'll say they'll laugh at you because you are actually deep down thinking, is this real? Does this work? And then he'll do that. Reflect it back to you. That's all they're doing. My SP just texted saying we should talk. Could be good or bad. I'm shaking. Darling, imagine it's good. Give it good meaning. We should talk good meaning. Meaning they're dying to talk to you, darling. Whatever you do, don't give that bad meaning. That is movement. It's wonderful. He is dying to talk to me. He's been thinking about me this whole time. He loves me and only me. Darling, affirm that as you're bringing them back. Give it only good meaning, darling. That's wonderful. Do I say I intend he's pursuing me or I intend he pursues me? No, he is, darling. He is pursuing me. He's constantly calling and texting me. He's blowing up my phone. He's at my house every goddamn day. He's constantly pursuing me. He can't keep away from me. He's obsessed with me. It's now, darling. It's happening now. Not it's going to happen. Oh, my God. I love the way you teach. I've just wasted money on others. Thank you for being honest. Oh, that's all right, Smith1104. You're welcome. It's because I, I did that, darling. I read The Secret and all that fucking bullshit for years. I'm 43. It took me years to figure this shit out. <laughs> Wish I knew it before. If I'm manifesting an SP but still crush on others, well, in fact, I said that. No, you can manifest your SP but also see other people. It's fine. It's not going to affect what's in your mind. You're living in your mind. You're together. It doesn't affect it. Um, can people manifest money? Of course, darling. People who are wealthy manifest their wealth all the time by imagining they are wealthy. They've steeped themselves in the state of wealthy. They think they're wealthy. They don't imagine that their money is going to disappear. If they, it does disappear, they imagine it's going to come back very easily. People who are poor or in a state of poverty, okay, can get themselves out of it by imagining they don't, they're not poor anymore. People have done it. They're not, they're born into poverty, but they can get themselves out. Okay, so manifesting money, say, I am a money magnet. Money comes to me quickly and easily. Money comes to me out of the blue. I am, money is raining on me every day. Okay, start saying that shit and imagine you are wealthy. Walk into a shop and imagine I can buy everything in here. I could buy that if I want. I can afford that. Stop saying I can't afford it. Stop splitting the bill and arguing over who had this glass of wine. Stop being in a broke-ass mindset. That's how people lose the lottery when they win the lottery money. That's why most people, when they lose, when they win the lotto, they lose it all. It's all gone within a couple of years because they have a broke-ass mindset about money. This money's probably not going to last forever. I hope I win the lotto again. This money's depleting. Guess what? <laughs> gone. Can I manifest getting back with my ex? Yes, Bryony, darling. Just imagine you're already with him or her. You're already together in your mind. Live in the end in your mind. You are the man or woman you want to be. You're already completely loved up, coupled up. They love you. They're with you already. Guys, I have a client call soon. I'm going to get off the phone. What time is my client call? Oh, no, 10 a.m. It's all right. Uh, how do you keep your cool with all these silly questions? No, they're not silly questions, darling, because you know what? Cunt stunt. <laughs> what a name. I had all these silly questions. They're not silly, guys. You're watching all this shit on here. Of course you... Thanks, darling, for the fire. Of course you're confused. 
You're watching people holding candles and fucking crystals and saying talk to water. Of course you're fucking confused. This, none of these are silly questions, guys. They don't teach this shit in school. In fact, they don't want you to know this shit. What affirmations could you use to receive flowers? I love getting flowers. I get flowers all day long. People love giving me flowers. Imagine flowers on your desk going. Imagine your SP coming to your door with roses. Imagine you have them already. Say, I, love, I get flowers all the time. People are always giving me flowers. Say it. See what happens. Get back to us. Can you tell us the most mind-blowing? I've done that. Years of shit in our heads. Yes, my darling. I know. How do you feel about tarot cards? They're a load of bullshit. Okay, this is what happens with tarot. They're interpreting the tarot card like death or whatever based on what they know about that card. That's the first thing. Then you're sitting there across from them or on screen or whatever and they're reflecting your thought that you already have. I think I should give up on my specific person, my ex. I don't think he loves me anymore. And she says, your, specific, your ex has given up on you and you should give up on him. And you'll go, oh, I'll go, I need to give up. All she's doing is reflecting your thinking. That's all this is, guys. Everyone in your life reflects it, whether it's a tarot read or anyone. But you put more faith in what she said because she said it and you believe her. You understand? But if they've told you good things, give it good meaning. You can believe it if you want. You believe what you want to believe. Tarot, crystals, whatever. If you believe in it, believe it. If it helps you. She is very beautiful. That's nice. Um, you can manifest anything. Yes, darling. How do I manifest it to get the dog I want? Darling... There's a famous story Neville Goddard talks about. A little boy who comes in and his mum's saying, Neville, my son is annoying me because he keeps saying he wants a collie puppy. And he says, but I do have a collie puppy. I want my collie puppy, mummy. I have a collie puppy. She goes, no, darling, I have told you, you cannot have a collie. And Neville goes, and knows exactly what's going to happen because children are powerful. Their manifestations always come about because their imagination isn't fucked up. Two weeks later, he entered a raffle, that little boy, and guess what he won? A collie puppy. The mum couldn't say no then, could she? All you need to do, my darling, is imagine you have that little dog already. What's the dog you want? Imagine patting it. Imagine it sits on the bed with you at night. Imagine it's already with you. And imagine your mum saying, or someone saying, I love your puppy. Isn't it beautiful? I love your dog. Don't we love, we love our new dog. Okay, you already have it, darling. Um... Can you manifest a twin flame return? Well, darling, I don't believe in twin flames. Anyone can be your twin flame or soulmate and they're not separate from you, so that's complete bullshit. If you want to believe that, darling, you'll feel separate from your person. You'll feel like you lost them. It'll make you feel worse. Start imagining that, yeah, they're your twin flame, but they're with you all the time and you can manifest them back like that with your thinking. It's your thinking that drove them away. Now change your thinking, they'll come back. There's no separation, darling, no such thing. We're all one, oneness. What about a mansion? How can I manifest that? Or the million to buy it? Darling, oh, thanks, Veggie Cat. If you want the million... Get the million. But if you want the actual mansion, imagine you live there already. Imagine in your mind where you would live. Oh, I love this beautiful marble staircase. I love this front door. is so grand. Imagine you live there. Imagine your house is that house. Thanks, Veggie Cat, for the secure the bag. Um, oh, my God. Hey, hi. Any more questions, guys? Can someone write it down and we can screen it? What do you mean, darling? Can someone write it down and we can screen it? What do you mean, write it down and you can screen it? I don't understand the question. Rephrase it again, darling. Or does it affect at all? Sorry, it doesn't allow more than 100 characters. Oh, hang on, darling. I'm trying to find your old question. If your specific person is also manifesting you, how does that affect your manifestation? No, darling, everyone's in their own reality and no one can manifest you. You're manifesting them. They might be manifesting you over here, but it doesn't make it matter. Okay? They're in their reality with you. You're in their reality with them. I know it's hard to get your head around, but just trust me, we're all in different realities, our own reality. Watch my video on two people manifesting one person, you'll understand. Guys, please do follow me because I go live every day, twice a day. I don't know what time. This is my only set time, Sunday 6 p.m. EST, Thursday 9 p.m. EST. Every other time is random to get all different time zones. Got people all over the world, different time zones. And follow my, my Facebook page, Manifest Space, Live Space, with Space Laws. And you can watch all these lives back, guys. They're all in there. About 15 of them so far. Can you please tell us what you think we should remember as top key points about manifestation? Yes, darling. I am are the two most powerful words, powerful words you can say. That's your consciousness. I am married. I am rich. I am wanted. I am the most important. That is living in the end that you already are the man or woman you want to be. I am. That's why I'm saying your affirmations are powerful. I am wealthy. I am loved. I am wanted. I am desired. 
they're powerful. It's living in the end, which is what you need to do to get your desire. Imagine you are the man or woman you want to be already. You live in the end in your mind. Saying I am is living in the end. I am wealthy. Well, you're not saying you're not. You're saying you already are. That's the most powerful thing. And live in the end in your mind. Okay? How can you manifest for schools to keep closed? Just imagine they stay closed, darling. Imagine saying to your friends in a couple of weeks, isn't this amazing? We still don't have to go to school. This is so cool. Imagine a scene where you're all sitting around your house talking about or sitting around on socials talking about how cool it is that the school's still not open. Do you have to speak out loud for a manifestation to work? No, darling, do it in your head. That's more important, but I do it out loud as well. I can't help myself. But in your head, thinking it is the most important thing. That's what I'm saying. If you write it, you have to think it. Does it mean if we view someone as, as good, everyone views them as well or just in my reality? Yeah, so if you see they're good, you think they're good, you will think they're good. And they will turn up as good to you. It doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. Just in your reality, they'll turn up good. So you might meet a colleague at work and everyone can't stand them, but you didn't know that. When you met them, you thought they were really nice. Then you start talking to your colleagues and they say, fuck, that person's an asshole. Do you like him? Now, in your reality, you expected them to be nice and they turned up nice. But in everyone else's reality, they can't stand that person. That makes sense? Oh, thanks, love for love Q8. Thank you so much. Hi, from Wales. You make so much sense. Oh, I've been to Wales. Well, actually, it was just the border of Wales and England, but it was wonderful. I loved it. It was called something. Claragip? No, Claragip? Some... Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. Um, do we also tell friends the news story, even if it hasn't happened, or is that crazy? No, darling, you don't tell people shit. <laughs> don't tell anyone what you're trying to manifest, guys, because they'll only shit on you, and all they'll do is reflect back your assumptions of this won't work, this is crazy. Then they'll say, you're acting fucking crazy. Don't tell anyone, guys, unless it's someone you really think will agree with you. Don't discuss it. Thank you so much for all the presents, my darling. I love watching you. So motivating. Oh, thanks, darling. How did you get into manifestations to be part of your life? You know a lot. Darling, you know what I did? I really fucked my life up. I went to drama school and I was meant to come out as like a famous actor and I didn't. And I kept wondering, why aren't I famous? Why aren't I getting work? And it was my negative thinking about me that was stopping me having my career. Then all my relationships kept messing up. And I was like, what am I doing wrong? Okay? And what I didn't realize was, was my thinking. I went to therapy, I tried to fix it, and then realized that all I learned about manifestation was actually creating my reality. That I could change it. Therapy taught me what my thoughts were, but it didn't tell me how to change the negative thinking. I'm teaching you guys to do affirmations habitually repetitively to change those negative thoughts and then that will out picture and your reality will change when I started doing that my reality started changing my relationships improved and I was like oh shit this shit works and I read a lot and I watched every video I listened to every audio book I've listened to every Neville Goddard lecture probably maybe five or six times okay I really got into it and I really really delved I read everything I read Napoleon Hill I read Bob Proctor uh, like every self-help book you can think of, Eckhart Tolle, I read them all, darling. I was lost. Fucking lost. Can people manifest money? Yes, darling, I already did that one. I didn't hear your response, Sandy. What? I gave you so many responses about 369. I just said don't bother about it. <laughs> don't bother. This work is more important than acting. Loz, oh, thanks. I checked out Pluto's Gate today. He's really great. Yes, guys, watch Pluto's Gate. It's a great YouTube channel. It tells you all that I'm telling you about manifesting. How can I change my toxic relationship with my family? Well, guess what, Shimodi99? You're saying it's toxic? So it is. Stop describing your family members as toxic. Stop describing your relationship with them as toxic and they will change. Start seeing them differently. Write down the old version of your family. Start writing, they love me. They spend so much time with me. They give me so lo much love and attention. I am the priority with every single member of that family. Write a new story about them and stop seeing them as toxic and they will change. They're turning up toxic because you imagine they are. Okay? Hi, ah, yes. What you say is true, isn't it? Yes, Matty, it is. I think there is a lag. Oh, Sandy, I did answer your question. When I put it in um, Facebook, just watch it back, my darling. Can I manifest for a slimmer and more structured facial structure? Yes, darling. Just say my face is so lovely and slim. I love my new bone structure. My bones are beautifully placed. Okay? Start imagining people saying, have you had surgery on your face or something? How long have you been thinking this way? Manifesting about everything. Darling, you, I didn't realise I was manifesting everything until recently. Maybe a couple of years ago. I was like, oh my God, I manifest everything with my thoughts. Oh, fuck. Which Never Got Our Book do you recommend? Uh, feeling is a Secret, guys, is probably the easiest. Uh, 
any more questions is manifestation a spiritual thing or cognitive brain thing well darling we are all spirit so i believe it's a spirit thing and a mind thing okay i have a mind i have a brain an actual physical thing in here in my skull called a brain but my mind i think is connected to the spirit in me the god in me the whatever infinite intelligence in me it's the same thing it's creating my subconscious is my infinite intelligence it is my spirit okay and when i die it doesn't go away that's my belief anyway. Loz, there is a lag. You said you couldn't see questions, hence the repeat questions. Oh, darling, can't you hear, can't you guys hear my um, replies? That's so annoying. Can't you hear me? Create Your Future channel talks about some success stories. It's crazy how it works. Yes, they have great success stories on Create Your Future. Excellent ones with all their coaches. Watch that channel too, guys. Create Your Future. Guys, I'm going to log off because I actually have a client call soon and I have to um, really sit down and analyze all her backstory. Okay, so guys, please do follow me at Manifest Space Live Space with Loz. All spaces in between Manifest Live with Loz on Facebook. You can watch this back. If there was a lag, hopefully when I post it on Facebook in a minute, you'll be able to watch it back. And there won't be a lag and you'll see your question answered. Okay, guys, all the other lives are in there. Also, follow me at Manifest Live with Loz on TikTok. You know when I go live. And if you want one-to-one -one coaching, guys, video coaching, paid coaching, DM me. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll be live later.